Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. I've never fought anyone I couldn't beat, including my masters. Impressive claim. If you're seeking fresh challenges, you'll find them. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. Being a Jedi Knight is my calling. What else can the Masters tell me? Many Padawans feel the same way until they face the trials. That's why releasing preconceived notions is part of the Jedi Code. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Enter your training with an open mind. You might surprise yourself. There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. What are these things? Animals? Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. What makes me any better than the others? You've been trained for dangers like this. I know I can count on you. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the flesh raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go. I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I was expecting reinforcements by now. Some are already here, but Flesh Raiders keep pouring in. That's why I'm calling. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel. Making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. Apparently, I'm the only competent warrior on the whole planet. Arrogance is unbecoming of a Jedi, as are petty insults. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Yomahatachi Wanchi, Ayitiupi. Because the Order must evolve, and you are weak. Whatever your problem is, Ugly, I'm here to end it. Hmm. You are... dangerous. You killed my soldiers. Not attacking. Cleansing. And we have only begun. I'll do some cleansing of my own. You do all right? What happened here? Thank the force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi, at least not one of us. If he wasn't like us, what was he? I'd call him Sith, but the Empire doesn't know where Tython is. This lightsaber... There's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I deserve a decent weapon, and my enemy doesn't need his anymore. This weapon can help us discover who the man was. It's going to the Jedi Council. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. That should hold them back for now. You should have left that open. 
We could have used it to destroy the Flesh Raiders. Declaring war is the last thing we should do. There's too much we don't know about our enemy. Who never wonder your power cooker to Ronti? Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. I only just arrived on Tython. Where am I going? Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. Let me guess. My reputation precedes me. Your reputation is not my concern. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. That must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? I won the fight. What else matters? Even the most experienced Jedi can be unbalanced by violence. Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The Code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the Temple Archives. This Force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. Someone want to bring me up to speed? We're just having a nice end-of-the-world chat. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. Without the man organizing them, they're just mindless savages. I doubt it's that simple. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in her. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. I'll complete my final trials once we've dealt with the Flesh Raiders. That is what you should aspire to, Kira. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. Have you always felt this way about your fellow masters? Don't misunderstand. They're good people. I just prefer to get things done. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I get the feeling you know more about this threat than you're telling me. I have... a bad feeling about this, but that's all. When I know more, I will tell you. Trust me. How can I trust you when you don't trust me? I do trust you. I'd just rather get real answers than stand around making wild guesses. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. 
They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally, but frankly, we need them. How are they violating the law? When Tython was first rediscovered, the Twi'leks petitioned the Senate to settle here. Their claim was denied, too dangerous, but they came anyway. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. Anything you can tell me about the Twi'lek leader? Where it is, she's not our biggest fan. You may have to convince her otherwise. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. I'm not here to be lectured by you. No, you've come to gain our trust. Learn about your new enemy. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. With all due respect, time is a factor. I need that information. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Nice of them to keep everything in one place. Makes it easier to destroy. Destroying the weapons won't be enough. They'll just get more. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers, and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. You wouldn't know what to do with weapons like those. We've survived persecution before. We can fight, but we need better weapons. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. I wish I could see the Flesh Raiders' faces when this stuff blows up on them. Tell me the whole story, and more slowly this time. Right, the old restraining bolt excuse. Admit it, you're just incompetent. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. You can come with me, but I'm not removing anything. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her! I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten! No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? I sabotaged the Flesh Raiders' weapons. They'll pay for what they've done. Sabotage? It's not enough. It will never be enough. The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? Perhaps your people would be safer if you left, Tython. This is our home. 
no flesh raider or Jedi will drive us out. You made a good point. Shame he's too stubborn to hear it. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. This droid says he works for the Jedi. Is that true? Yes, he's one of our long-range probes. We sent out 20. This is the only one to come back. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. One of our scouts watched from a distance while you invaded the Flesh Raider camp. He said you defeated many of them. Your heroism gives me hope that we'll survive this. I did as you asked. For information, nothing more. Of course. And I will honor that bargain. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi Temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. You aren't going to tell me what's happening? Take too long. Just be aware that Kaleth is a place of great danger. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. I get going. <laughs> Step a little closer, you hideous freak. <laughs> Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? When was the last time you fought someone trying to kill you? Besides my master? Eh, a few months. This is no laughing matter, Padawans. This Flesh Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. What are we prepared to do if the Flesh Raiders return? The temple's guards will respond to any invasion, and these surveillance devices will give us ample warning. May the Force be with you, Padawan. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I've been surviving the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for asking. If I didn't think you could handle it, I wouldn't have sent you there. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Org us out. Master Kiwix told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived, his lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengal Moore. He was my Padawan. 
but he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. He waited a long time to reveal himself. Still don't understand why he just disappeared. Doesn't make sense. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. Death is a reality that must be accepted. I suppose Jedi don't let themselves feel sadness. You have our sympathies, Rana, but the enemy won't give us time for mourning. Please, tell us what you've learned. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? You'll need backup. Can't we send someone else to handle the power generator? You've shown you can handle flesh raiders. We need you there. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Hmm. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I've spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Your student was a killer. He was attacking young Padawans. I gave Caliph too much responsibility too soon. His impatience for justice was his only failure. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. Guess I missed the news about you winning the war. I can't defeat the Sith until the Jedi are strong again. You people diminish the Force by your very existence. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother... She... Found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. As long as you cooperate, I have no problem with your new position. How are you so cold? Are only masters allowed to express warmth and comfort? Before he left, Master Orgus told me, there is no death, there is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die, and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Your settlement here is finished. You can't stay on Tython. We have nowhere else to go. My people will kill themselves dismantling those machines. Please help us. Jedi are strong. You can resist the machines and destroy them. If I have to root through your fields, I expect something in return. M my scouts find things in Tython's ancient ruins. I can give you what they've salvaged. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. I've destroyed the machines poisoning your crops. You have this entire settlement's gratitude. I'm told you suffered greatly on our behalf. My scouts recovered these items from the ruins. They're yours now, as we agreed. I hope you profit from them. Now, please excuse me. My people need guidance and reassurance. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? Please tell me I'm getting out of this blasted Twi'lek settlement. Be careful what you wish for. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. 
One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. What if I run into your old Padawan? If you see Bengal, retreat and contact me immediately. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. Master Orgus sent me to drive back the Flesh Raiders. Then I'll meet their hatred with my own and kill every last one. Vago Elisegis, Le Hasak. Is as Allah Sonny Parton as Allah Tokisal. The Flesh Raider camp's out of commission, Master. But they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen later. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Bengal Moor. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Master Orcus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. <laughs> Master Orgus should have gotten here ahead of me. I wish you hadn't come. Would have made things easier. Oh, uh. We didn't want to hurt you or your master, but we have no choice. I don't believe this. We protected you people. Only when it was convenient. For months we begged the council to send help. And no matter how many you kill, the Flesh Raider numbers keep growing. You can't win. Bengal Moore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He wants us to kill you too. I'm... I'm sorry. Your words are wasted. Let's finish this. I surrender. Please don't hurt me. I know it doesn't matter to you. But I did all this to save my people. You gave my master to the enemy! No, you can still save him. Bingelmore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. Isn't that information worth some mercy? I don't believe in forgiving scum like you. There's nothing I can do to stop you, is there? You don't deserve to live. <laughs> Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? These Twi'leks deactivated you and tried to kill me. I had to defend us. I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? You want a memory wipe? Just do it. Well, really? I'll report your behavior to the council when they return. Transmitting data now. I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master, you will fall with him. Spare me the speeches. I'm here to end you. So be it.
You've won. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? You're stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You think I'm destined to defeat the Empire? I'm certain of it. I have found my purpose, at last. I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. I'll make my own destiny. And you need to die. Better one. I must have you to thank for being alive. I defeated Bengal Moore, Master. He's dead. Poor man. He was so lost. The horrors he witnessed on Carson broke him. Destroyed the gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. What is this place, Master? The first Jedi came here to construct their lightsabers millennia ago. It's strong in the Force. Normally we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal's body to the Jedi Temple. Meet me there when you're ready. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. Flesh Raiders are still a threat, but without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This temple could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. We can't give the Flesh Raiders time to regroup. Going to war only guarantees more violence. It is better to tighten our defenses. Besides, we have threats closer to home. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch, Rana, betrayed me, and now we hear the Flesh Raiders killed her. The settlement is in chaos. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? They're a danger we can't afford, and they don't belong here. I say we round them up and ship them any place else. Forced resettlement of the Twi'leks runs against everything we stand for. Containment is a better option. At least we know they can't be trusted. We won't put them in a position to betray us again. This young Jedi saved us all from a terrible threat by defeating an experienced Force user. 
I see no reason for her to remain a Padawan. Your final trial has been marred by dark events. But I can't argue with your accomplishments. You arrived on Tython a Padawan, but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. It's about time. No more Padawan do this and Padawan go there. That's right. Now the real work begins. Unstoppable is a strong word, but you have your uses. T7 has served faithfully for many years. He'll serve you equally well. Request granted. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The dark presence we have long sensed is strongest here. What could be worse than a fallen Jedi attacking us? That's what we need to find out. The security of the entire Republic is at stake. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. No offense, but I've had enough of Tython. Looking forward to getting away myself. I need to wrap up some things before I go. Meet Duan Corson. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always. Don't bother me unless it's important. Got it? Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. You can't contain an enemy without casualties. How many lives are lost during a full-scale invasion? Our new weapon will end war as we know it. Regardless, you've allowed the Planet Prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Master Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. Couldn't you handle this yourself? I have my battle, and you have yours. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? They must know what you're working on. Impossible. It must be a coincidence. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. 
I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistas, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. Kapatonka, chisa bichawanki chi atocha. Gino hagwa bontago, chubalong haku. Kilia umpasa dobiska wumpa hupa. Agent Galen, I believe I found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. What's happened now, Agent? This holo channel isn't secure. I'll brief you at the Senate Tower. Galen out. Liska Chanaga Ima Che Choran Chike. Wajineko, Higa Danoila, Oka Kiza speed up per popa. Ukle Yugo Chesko Pakuta, Liska Taka Yakoska. You're in no position to bargain. Nagwa Bota. Wajineko, Higa Danoila, Oka Kiza speed up per popa. O Wama Wanka Mituske, O Wana Tablota, Wijawa. What is Black Sun's interest in military data files? Agua dopi basta wahota. Chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike. Why would I ever let scum like you get away? I got your files, but the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. Grant, run a full diagnostic. Find out what was in these files. We found our stolen military hardware. Good. We need it. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. This is the most secure building on Coruscant. It's full of guards. Guards never stood a chance. Whoever the kidnappers are, they knew right where to hit us. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent Galen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. I don't know how long I can hold them. She's in over her head. Have you informed Orgus and Kiwix about this? They're in orbit with the Supreme Chancellor and our fleet commanders. Too far away to help. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. You need to stop the kidnappers before they escape with Dr. Tarnas. Hurry! Just in time. These guys get points for courage, but we're a little outnumbered. There's more than a few trigger-happy thugs in that docking bay. The kidnappers are threatening to kill Dr. Tarnas, but they might be bluffing. I'm not even sure they have him. If they don't have the doctor, they're no use to us. We lost the other kidnappers. This bunch is our best shot at saving Tarnas. So, how do we handle this? I say we bust in there, weapons drawn, and see what happens. Give me a second to paint a target on my forehead. I borrowed a stealth field generator from Agent Galen's office. Makes me practically invisible. I can sneak in first, then when you attack, I'll take a few thugs by surprise. What do you think? The last thing I need is an overeager Padawan tripping me up. The only reason I'm still a Padawan is because of my master. I've passed every test. Master Quix just doesn't think I'm serious enough to be a full Jedi. But I'm working on it. Give me a chance. Kiwix has you pegged. Stand down. Fine. Go rescue Dr. Tarnas. I'll just stand here and be useless. Jedi scum! I'll kill you. Someday. You have a real knack for making friends. I didn't come here to make friends. Could've fooled me. No sign of Dr. Tarnas. Kinda puts a damper on things. 
We were the decoys. Now you'll never see your little doctor again. Is that so? Give me a minute with this guy. I'll make him talk. I'm the Jedi here. I'll ask the questions. Go ahead. You'll get nothing. The boss would kill me for talking. Who's in a better position to kill you? Your boss? Or me? Oh, so you're that kind of Jedi. Good to know. Wait! I don't want to die! I'm with the Black Sun. My boss, Salar, sent us to grab your doctor and bring him to our headquarters. That's all I know. Black Sun is a major crime syndicate. Whatever they want with Tarnas, we'd better save him quick. Me and my security detail will clean this up. Agent Galen will want to hear about this. Dr. Tarnas is the least of our worries, General. The stolen data files had details, not only on the planet prison, but every weapon prototype and research facility in existence. Our most powerful experimental weapons, and Black Sun has access to them. How could this happen? If I were you, I'd start looking for a new job. That's enough. Assigning blame is a luxury we don't have. We must act quickly to secure these other weapons. Where are they? Three off-world research facilities. Minimal defenses to give them a low profile. They're vulnerable. Master Kiewicz and I will split up and protect two. And I'll take the third one. You get the fun part. Rescuing Dr. Tarnas and the copied data files from Black Sun. We'll be back in time for dinner. Hero will stay behind too. With Agent Galen leaving, her computer talents will be needed. She can be impulsive, but give her a chance. You'll make a good team. That girl is useless. She'll only hold me back. If she were useless, I would not have taken her as my Padawan. We should go. May the Force be with us all. I'll escort you to your ships, my friends. Before I go, I'm putting all my resources at your disposal. There's a special tactical unit in Black Sun territory. Experienced security officers who've been fighting those gangsters for months. Go to these coordinates. Talk to Sergeant Nidaljo. He can help you rescue Dr. Tarnas and get those copied data files. Your man better have a strong stomach. Those gangsters are going to learn the meaning of pain. They're already familiar with that topic. Don't underestimate the Black Sun gang. They enjoy killing, and they're good at it. Kira's on her way. I'll get her plugged into our security network before I leave. Good luck. Corporal, get a culto pack on that man. The rest of you prep for evac. Agent Galen sent me. What's happened? Black Sun. They're not a gang anymore, they're an army. We were securing a perimeter around their base for you. They hit back with military-grade weapons, killed six of my men. Seven, sir. Joran's gone. We're not equipped for this fight. Not anymore. We can't help you. You'll finish the mission whether you're equipped for it or not. I don't take orders from you, and we didn't sign up for a suicide run. We've been fighting Black Sun for months. Now with new weapons and armor, they're unstoppable. <laughs> Look at us, we're half dead. And they didn't suffer a single casualty. There's no hope of victory. You men will do everything you can to assist me. We're going to the base. Now. We're going to the base now. On your feet, men. Ration your medical supplies and give some to the Jedi. The enemy has a computerized security network. We'll keep their forces busy while you take it out. Once it's down, we'll make a frontal assault and clear a path for you. You will do your jobs, no matter the cost. We'll fight to the last man. You have my word. Take this. We'll see you inside the base. Tarnas, we risked everything for you. Stealing those data files, faking your kidnapping. This is how you repay us? You were compensated with enough weapons and armor to make Black Sun invincible. Invincible? There's a Jedi carving up my base! This is your fault. We never should have trusted a Sith. If a Jedi has come for you, Salar, it wasn't my doing. Your own people gave you up, not Tarnas. How predictable. I have no time for this nonsense. Finish a pointless battle. Coruscant's fate is already sealed. Ah! 
Surrender, you scum! We got you surrounded! Shoot them all! Do it now! Lost near everyone, but Salar's dead, and the Black Sun base is in ruins. Your men made excellent shock troops. We did what we had to. There aren't enough of us to hold this base. Black Sun reinforcements are coming. There you are. We intercepted Solar's holocaul to Tarnas. Can't believe he's a Sith. But that's not the worst news. The Planet Prison prototype here at the lab? A fake. Tarnas stole the real Planet Prison. Tarnas has been playing us from the start. Playtime's over. Let's find that traitor. We need you back at the Senate Tower. Kira out. Sounds like your work is just starting. We won't hold you up. Goodbye, Jedi. A Sith, working as my chief scientist. How can I defend the Republic if I can't trust my own people? Tarnas's entire engineering team vanished along with the planet prison. They're all traitors, too. Tarnas couldn't pull this off by himself. I've known that team for years. I never saw a hint they were anything less than patriots. Tarnas will use the planet prison against Coruscant. He could trap us here forever, paralyze the Republic by holding us hostage. You're our only hope of stopping that. Don't tell me I'm the only Jedi on Coruscant. Your masters are in hyperspace. You and Kira are the only Jedi with the Council's authorization. For good reason. We're both amazing. I just traced that hollow call we intercepted from the Black Sun base. Tarnas was communicating from down in Sector 439. Justicar territory. Tarnas knows we're not welcome there. Justicars are paramilitary vigilantes. They took over a sector, cut ties with the rest of Coruscant, and they don't like visitors. I'm not here to negotiate. If the Justicars stand in my way, they'll fall. The Justicars are well trained and armed, but they don't concern me. It's the Sith Lord I'm worried about. You shouldn't face Tarnas alone. I may only be a Padawan, but I can help you. You're inexperienced and headstrong. I can't trust you with this. But I do. Coruscant's fate lies in the balance, and Kira's proven very capable. She's going. You'll be glad to have me before this is done. I promise. Stop Tarnas before he uses the planet prison against us. The fate of the Republic rests on your shoulders, Jedi. May the Force be with you. Huh. <sighs> Jedi, think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Darnus, he's a Sith. I've come to stop him. What happened here? Darnus tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought Tarnas the prototype. He turned on us. He killed everyone. <laughs> you stole a weapon from the Republic. What did you think would happen? The man's already dying. Don't rub it in. Never meant to hurt anyone, please. Tarnas took the planet prison. You have to stop him. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. You'll find Tarnas. Planet Prison needs time to build a power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. I thought the Jedi Temple was destroyed in the war. Pieces rained down into the lower levels. The Temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. Can't you find out anything more about the works? Let's just assume the file describes a lot of awful badness and leave it at that. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm departing Coruscant now, Father. The planet prison deploys in minutes. 
The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnis? A loose end? For shame. Have you come to die, Jedi? I don't die easily. Haven't you figured that out yet? Fighting petty criminals is nothing. Now you face a Sith. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. <laughs> Jedi filth, you have killed my son. She'll pay with her life, my master. I swear it. You have no idea what you've unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I don't fear you. Come find me whenever you like. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. We already control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic, and you will bow down before I let you die. I see where your son got his overconfidence. You'll die just like he did. My hatred makes me stronger than you can possibly know. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. You were just along for the ride, Padawan. I wanted to help, but your ego kept getting in my way. Much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? No one saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. Here she is. The hero of Coruscant. Glad to have you back. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnus. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnus was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. Have either of you faced this man before? I don't know him. Darth Angrel personally led the forces that sacked Coruscant in the last war. He was furious when the Emperor signed the treaty. Looks like he's back to finish what he started. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angrel's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie, but the Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarnas transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. I'll catch that Sith off guard and destroy him. Don't turn this into something personal. That leads to the dark side. Master Orgus senses greatness in you. And so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going too. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. You expect me to save the Republic, defeat Darth Angrel, and train this Padawan at the same time? The Force has brought you together for a reason. Kira stays with you. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not, but I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an O-fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck.
My new master at last. I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Always happy to have another droid. My T7 unit has been invaluable. The T7s are a fine utility model. I am programmed to provide for your creature comforts. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class like Corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. Unless you want trouble, I suggest you move on. On the contrary, Master, this ship is quite sturdy. I have also discovered several excellent hiding spots in the event of a hostile boarding. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Come in, Chorus and Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Navi computer. Good hunting. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantell. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarg against myself while you have all the fun. Think of this as a lesson in acceptance. I get that lesson a lot from you. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Otto. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Check out the spaceport while we're gone. If this place is as bad as you say, Darth Angrel may have a presence here. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll poke around and see what's what. Have fun down there. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantell. Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. Well, open war will be a refreshing change of pace. Personally, I prefer life in the shadows. It lasts longer. General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? You aren't giving me much to go on, Agent. Sorry, but that was my last probe droid. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, Plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angrel's been up to. Be seeing you. Name, Markovic. Rank, Lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. Your big talk is wasted on me. You may as well kill me now. You'll never hold me prisoner. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there! <laughs>
Tarnas's talk on Coruscant about creating non-lethal weapons was a lie. You won't live long enough to tell anyone! <laughs> One less Imperial to worry about. Back already? That was quick. It was surprisingly simple, really. Guess it helped being a Jedi instead of a probe droid. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. You had one job while I was gone, Padawan. Can't you do anything right? Nice to see you too. Imperial Intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. No one will walk away from this. You do realize you're vastly outnumbered, not to mention outmatched. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain death to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty? I'm not here to discuss philosophy. Unfortunate. It would have bought you a few extra moments of life. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. The next time you fail me, Padawan, don't expect a rescue. Oh good. I was afraid you might get all mushy on me. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. You look pretty good for someone tortured by a Sith. We never got to the actual torture part. He was sending me to Dromund Kaas for that. Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. Looks like Tarnas was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battle cruiser with it. It's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. What planet was Agent Galen assigned to? Nar Shaddaa. It's hut territory, neutral, but the Empire has a strong presence there. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this Desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shaddaa is vital, but there's another target just as important on Terrus. You have another super weapon on Terrus you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. I can only do one mission at a time, General. What's more important, securing Nar Shaddaa or Terrus? Nar Shaddaa is the immediate danger, but Terrus holds the key to all of this. I'm trusting your Jedi instincts on this. When you reach Terrus or Nar Shaddaa, contact me. And good luck. General, I'm on Terrace. You seemed worried about this place after Ord Mantell. What's the big mystery you wouldn't reveal? I apologize for the secrecy, but this involves someone the Empire would love to get its hands on. Angral's son, Tarnas, was the lead scientist on our advanced warfare projects. But these technologies were all invented by Dr. Nassan Godera. Dr. Godera is a genius. Calculates targeting algorithms in his head for fun. If he's so special, why wasn't he leading things instead of Tarnas? Dr. Godera hates the Empire. So much so he quit in protest when the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant. Disappeared completely. We recently discovered he's hiding on Terrace, but the swamps, predators, and city ruins are keeping us from finding him. What did he hope to accomplish by disappearing? I look forward to asking him that myself. 
The Republic is recolonizing Terrace. Recently, we found evidence that our missing doctor has been here for years. Reconnaissance discovered one of Godera's outposts in the swamp. It's entirely automated. Nothing but droids inside. And they're not cooperating. How do you know this outpost doesn't belong to someone else? The droids kept demanding Godera's passwords from us. They work for him. I've had people scouring Terrace for other outposts. The survivors returned empty-handed. After what you learned on Ord Mantell, we need that man's expertise. You are our best shot at finding Dr. Godera. Even if I find your doctor, you may not be alive. He survived Terrace for years. My money says he's still out there. I left a small team monitoring the outpost. They'll aid your search. Transmitting outpost coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. That's enough bloodshed. Let's be professional about this. I am Watcher One with Imperial Intelligence. Those men you fought served me. What kind of name is that? My title is who I am. Any other name I gave you would be a lie. Despite what General Varsuthra believes, I have known about this outpost for some time. Your imminent arrival forced me to take action. My mission is to protect the Empire from Dr. Gadara's weapons. I'm afraid I can't let you have him. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Imperial Intelligence prides itself on accurate threat assessment. I've known you were coming, analyzed your strengths and weaknesses in preparation. You executed Banglemore on Tython when he was defenseless. You consider yourself above the law. What's he talking about? Is that true? If I did do something like that, wouldn't it be for a good reason? Regardless, your decision reveals much about your nature. As fortune would have it, Dr. Gadara will be in my custody shortly. You've already failed. Even if I don't get Dr. Gadara, I'll still get you. That's a promise. Watchers aren't easily caught. I see my reinforcements are finally in position. Terminate her. Blasted imps. Death is too good for them. Thank you for liberating this facility. Good riddance to imp scum. Wish my T7 had a personality like you. T7 units lack the subroutines to properly appreciate imp destruction. My designation is REM0. Dr. Gadara assigned me to this facility. Primary function, enemy surveillance. The facility was compromised when Republic cowards arrived on Terrace, and again by these imp scum. Why do you call the Republic cowards? These people died defending you. Republic cowards surrendered to the Empire many years ago. These deaths do not alter that fact. My programming forbids cooperation with non gadera life forms, except under extreme circumstances. That criteria is now met. Watcher 1 reprogrammed this facility's tracking relays. He traced Dr. Gadara's encrypted bioscan to its present location. How could Watcher 1 do all that when we couldn't? Imperial intelligence is well-funded and highly motivated. Filthy imps. Locating my maker requires repairing the central computer and resetting outdoor tracking relays. I am only equipped for computer repairs. I will provide you with the tracking relay's coordinates, but be advised, the outdoors are dangerous. Anything in my way dies. Get to work fixing that central computer. Jedi were never included in Dr. Gadara's Republic Coward designation. Now I comprehend why. Commencing computer repairs. Contact me when all tracking relays are reset. Then we can triangulate Dr. Gadara's location. If you encounter any imp scum, please annihilate them. How you handle Republic Cowards is your discretion. Good luck, Jedi. I finished resetting all the tracking relays. Is that central computer online? Affirmative. Triangulating Dr. Gadara's coordinates now. This facility has outlived its usefulness, and my programming provides no secondary mission. I am uncertain how to proceed. Serving Republic cowards is unacceptable, but I am not armed to combat imp scum. Recommendation? Dr. Godera needs all the help he can get. You should come. Excellent suggestion. Perhaps I can acquire new mission parameters from my maker. Triangulation complete. Transmitting the coordinates to you now. I am coming, but do not wait for me. 
My maker needs you, Jedi. Chun ki salamana tupa. Chi holokto chobot e kafsto andale. How did you manage to escape the Imperials? Kon kipona hukta tabatata. Sigunra de ha yaliska chanaga. We think a chasa hopoma. You can lift a blaster. Come with me and fight. No kabaje uluani kus chi sinchi donoma. Pi toto kapola kupi de opera chi runi pibuka. Stand down, Jedi. I'm afraid we both lose this contest. Dr. Gudera killed himself rather than be captured. It's a tragic loss. No one will walk away from this. Haven't enough lives been taken today? We are prepared to leave Taris without further violence. Full cessation of hostilities. Do you accept? I can't bring Dr. Gudera back to life, but I will kill you. Unlike the men at the outpost, we're trained to fight Jedi. Don't underestimate us. Wait, Jedi. These filthy imps are lying to you. My maker is not dead. I arrived late because I performed a second triangulation on my maker's bioscan. Thought we destroyed that irritating machine. Now you both have to die. Critical damage. Circuit failing. Transmitting my maker's new coordinates to you now. Save him. Do not let my functions end in vain. Useless pile of junk. This is what happens to droids that don't follow orders. Don't let your little T7 hear you talking like that. Oh, I'm a wanka mituski, oh, wanna tablota, we jawa. Not my finest performance, but serviceable. Do not fear. Dr. Gadera is unharmed. I painlessly rendered him unconscious and gently carried him to safety. I can't say the same for your assassins. Their loss is regrettable, but they understood what's at stake. We could continue this chase forever, but what a waste of resources. I suggest a compromise. Give me time to administer truth serum to Dr. Gadera. Once he reveals his secrets, he's yours. We'll both have what we want. I want to end your existence. Is that part of the deal? Not as such, but you'll find my counteroffer more than fair. I will purchase time for interrogating Dr. Gadera by offering you something of great personal interest. A Sith assassin is on Taris preparing to massacre a small Republic settlement. I can tell you where. My only concern is rescuing Dr. Gudera. The colonists will have to defend themselves. Colonists against a Sith assassin? At least the battle will be brief. I know you won't risk innocent lives. It's not in your nature. We have to help those people. Rescue your settlement. When that's done, come here and you'll receive Dr. Gudera unharmed. You have my word. I'm coming for you now. Prepare to die. Your profile needs updating. You're not the hero everyone believes you are, are you? We're just letting those people die. Come then, Jedi. I assure you, I will be prepared. Lord Engrel, I've had no time to conduct my interrogation. Preparing for the Jedi took priority. You've made far too many decisions without my consultation, Watcher. Engrel. Perhaps I should be grateful. You spared me the effort of hunting you down. Stop throwing your lackeys at me. If you want to end this, do it in person. Watcher, bring me this filth alive. I will kill her myself. Respectfully, my lord. I think it's wiser to escape with the doctor while I still can. Enough! Do as I command! As you wish, Lord Angrel. You're heavily outnumbered, Jedi. These are my very best agents. I would prefer that you surrender. Despite your rank, you're still just a slave to the Sith. Being a good servant does not make one a slave. I'd think a Jedi would understand that. This is not the ending I would have chosen. Again, Darth Angrel underestimates you. Twenty years, I've avoided becoming a casualty of Sith madness. But an order is an order. This isn't about duty. It's about your pride. You're correct. 
I'm proud to serve the Empire. Regardless, you are the victor here. How do you wish to proceed? You'll get no mercy from me. I asked for none. Do as you must. <laughs> Dr. Gudera, are you all right? I'm a Jedi Knight sent by General Varsuthra to rescue you. Varsuthra? That old man never gives up, does he? All I remember was being knocked unconscious in my lab. At least the Imperials couldn't question me. I suppose you plan to take me back to Coruscant? I left for good reason, you know. Your motives aren't my concern. My job is to deliver you safely. No choice, hmm? Things must be bad. I told the Senate that treaty would never last. Perhaps it is time I returned. Finish the war, and wipe out the Empire for good. I told you, Agent. This Jedi never fails. My team came to assist you. We discovered the outpost was destroyed and assumed the worst. Can you tell us what happened? We have unconfirmed reports the Imperial Spymaster Watcher One is on Terrace. He'll find the bodies of Watcher One and all his men at an Imperial base in the swamp. Imperial base? I'll send a recovery team immediately. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Ready to come home? Depends. Are you ready to do what's right? I always was, and our time has finally come. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. We'll be needing his skills. Contact me from your ship. Our Suthra out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. I owe you. Advanced technology is always useful. I hear you're the man to see about that. When I'm settled in on Coruscant, I'll send you a proper token of thanks. Goodbye for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again. General, Dr. Godera's on his way to you. I can only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. We've suffered enough today as it is. The entire bunker of colonists was slaughtered. Women, children, no one was spared. Early reports indicate a lone Sith killed them. Watcher One warned me about the attack. My only concern was rescuing Dr. Godera. That's... troubling. But, uh, I understand your decision. I don't envy you having to make that call. Your work here may be done, but this isn't over. General, I've arrived on Narshada. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Ord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The best defense against a Sith is someone like me. Your order was nearly extinct. The Senate feared you might never recover. Nar Shada has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. The fewer rules I have to deal with, the better. That's what we thought when we started this mess. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. If you don't know where the research facility is, how can Angril find it? Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. With nothing to go on, how will I find this facility? You won't be hunting alone. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shada. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. With Agent Galen missing, how can you guarantee that headquarters is safe? The promenade is a secure zone under constant patrol. The huts don't tolerate violence there. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Varsuthra, out.
That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Sounds like your agents are in trouble. My subordinates jumping at shadows. Hazard of the business. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. You know Narshada better than me. Release your hounds. I tried that. Didn't work out. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. Darth Angrel is clearly targeting the SIS. Time to move. We'll wipe the computers and leave Narshada. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Transmitting a decryption signal to your holo? To scrambling? Hmm. Times and locations, standard tracking details. And one priority holo. Playing that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The power guard data files are missing. No clues to the main facility's location, but there was evidence of a recruitment center here. The project was using refugees as test subjects. The recruitment center's my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. Took guts going in there alone. Not sure what's worse. The enemy stealing our weapons project, or us experimenting on refugees. I want a full strike team helping me storm that recruitment center. We're analysts, not commandos. Agent Galen, or whoever got him, holds the key to recovering the Power Guard project. The trail ends at that recruitment center. You need to get inside there, find out what's happened. Good luck, Raikonaut. You'll be alright. I'm here to help. Chief Riken, the recruitment center was overrun with Imperials. No sign of Agent Galen, but I've just freed some refugees. Not refugees. Heroes. These people put their lives on the line for victory over the Empire. Name's Velnarok. Been recruiting volunteers for the Power Guard project since it started. Those people asked to become test subjects? The Empire stole their homeworlds. They jumped at the chance for payback. Over the years, hundreds of people volunteered for the Power Guard experiments. Heroes. All of them. Tell me what happened here. I was organizing fresh recruits when Imperials stormed inside. They rounded us up. Threw us in the cage. Don't know how the Empire found us. But they control the whole project now. I don't care how many Imperials I have to kill. They're not getting away with this. You'd better hurry. Imperials are taking people for testing to the main lab. It's in the red light sector. Not sure exactly where. That's one of the busiest parts of Nar Shada. We'll never find the lab. I've heard it's the only building with a dedicated energy reactor. Does that help? Absolutely. Contact me when you're in the red light sector. I'll have a plan. Riken out. I'll get these volunteers to safety. I hope you kill every last one of those Imperials. I'm in the red light sector. You have a plan for finding that main lab? If the Power Guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power grid. My team is monitoring energy readings in that sector. 
All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. I solve a lot of problems with my weapon. I wish I had one every time a stack of data pads lands on my desk. Sending coordinates to key power conduits. Hit them all, and we'll get a fix on that power guard main lab. And be careful. The red light sector may look civilized, but it's nothing of the sort. Riken out. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. That has to be the main lab. Sending coordinates now. Aside from Agent Galen and the test subjects, we have no idea what you'll face in there. How will you play this? I'll give the enemy an opportunity to surrender. If they don't take it, that's their problem. With luck, you'll catch the opposition off guard. You're in for a hell of a fight. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angrel told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Explains why you're not here. Scared, huh? You soldiers, lay down your weapons. I promise you'll be treated fairly. More than you deserve. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. If they were any good at their jobs, they'd still be alive. For that, you die slowly. I promised Commander Grawl he could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. Mark I power guards, not as destructive as the later models I possess, but quick to assemble and quite malleable. It took nothing to wipe their useless minds and program them to serve me. You captured a Republic agent. What have you done with him? Something extraordinary. But you won't live to see it. Kill the Jedi, cut out the Padawan's tongue and bring it to me. We're too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. There's nothing left here. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. It looks important. It may have information on where the enemies move to. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. My slicers will crack the decryption. We'll have to move fast to stop the enemy. Hurry. I warned him. I told Raiken this base was compromised. The Chief's dead. They're all dead. What, what were those things? They're like what I fought at the main lab, but more powerful. You kept us out of the loop. Hid the power guard facility. Never told us about these weapons. We stayed. Supported your mission when we should have evacuated. These deaths are on you. If you want to yell at someone, call Varsuthra. He authorized the project. Everyone responsible for this should be brought up on charges. With Raikin dead, I'm acting bureau chief. This operation's over. Agent Diaz, we're leaving now. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. Sorry, friend, but I'm in charge here now. Well, that's one way to end a conversation. It's the perfect response for uncooperative people. Agent Diaz? Decrypt this Imperial data pad, right now. Uh, y yes, I'll get right on it. Decryption complete. The enemy took everything from the power guard lab to a fallback position. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial controlled factory on the industrial level. What's the Empire doing with the factory on Nar Shaddaa? The enemy is manufacturing all kinds of war material. Weapons, armor, shields. Stars only know what they're doing with the power guards. You hit me! I can't believe you actually hit me! If you know it's good for you, shut up! But... I... All right. Sir, I recommend we inform General Varsuthra. We need immediate reinforcements. I've marked the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. Let's go, Agent Diaz. You shouldn't have come. You'll make me hurt you. He already forced me to give up my fellow agents. Now they're all dead. Agent Galen, what happened to you? When I resist, the pain, he always wins. Don't make me kill you, Galen. He won't let you destroy me. Nothing more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your constant interruptions must end. 
Your former ally will be your executioner. The new Agent Galen's power is matched only by his obedience. Face me yourself. Or are you scared you'll wind up like Tarnus? Tarnus was a child, like you, beneath me. Galen, destroy my enemy. No, I'd rather die. Control factor six initiated. <coughs> Neural override complete. Launching elimination protocol. Target, Jedi. I told you, he always wins. Stop. I'm... I can control. All that damage you did finally spread to the neural overrides. Only temporary, though. I can already feel my systems repairing themselves. Will you attack me again? I'll keep trying to fulfill my last command until I succeed. But we have bigger problems. The Sith Lord, Lord Static, has the Republic's Mark III Power Guards, cybernetically enhanced soldiers armed with advanced weapons. Sadik plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him, an army to conquer Nar Shaddaa. I doubt the locals will lay down without a fight. The Huts are cowards. In the end, they'll surrender to save their fat hides. Sadik's building his army in Shadowtown, an Imperial-controlled sector. Nastiest people on Nar Shaddaa. And that's saying a lot. I'll give you the coordinates. Ah! Neural overrides restarting. There's nothing else to do. Kill me! I don't plan to fight you twice. Goodbye, Galen. I can't watch this. You're strong to have made it this far, but not strong enough. I am more than Sith now. Much more. He's tall. I'll give him that. Remarkable technology. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. All that hardware won't save you from me. I've run the numbers. You overestimate your chances. A shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth Angrel would appreciate that. I might even leave your mind intact, as I did Agent Galen's. I'll never serve you, and you'll never hurt anyone again. You're mistaken. Don't look so surprised. It's our job to follow people. Agent Diaz planted a tracker on you back at headquarters. Standard operating procedure. No offense intended. Maybe some. My nose still hurts. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Hope you have a plan for getting out. Leaving's the easy part. We'll have a nice big diversion. This is Black Star Squad, a special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Sir, I've located the Power Guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? Plant bad data inside those files, and leave them for the enemy to find. Let the Empire create its own Power Guards. But ones with a flaw we can exploit. Not surprised you're advocating dirty tricks, but in this case I agree. You should check in with General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but... Goodbye. We narrowly escaped a major disaster, General. But a lot of good people died. Bad enough losing Chief Raikin and so many agents, but... Galen, we'd worked together for years. This turned from Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Not sure about this plan of yours to sabotage the Empire. It could blow up in our faces. If you're that worried, we don't have to do it. It's worth pursuing. You'll just have to be extra careful. The Republic's position on Nar Shaddaa is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. I'm sealing all records of what happened here. You, me, and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. Don't worry. I'm not planning to discuss this with the Jedi Council. It's for the best. Thank you. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. 
Hacklin was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? Not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. We shouldn't risk our necks to save some Imperial traitor. Even a traitor who could give us everything on our enemy's operation? We need to bring him in. Kira obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. I have a bad feeling about this. No time to negotiate. Admiral Hackland's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. What can you tell me about this place? The mining facility is abandoned and well off standard hyperspace routes. It's the safest place we could find for the Admiral. Be careful out there. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him! Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? This won't have been a waste of time if I get to kill you. I thought Jedi were seekers of knowledge. Aren't you the least bit curious what this is about? Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor, like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. I've never heard of any Emperor's children. Who are you people? The Chosen Ones, selected at birth to serve our father's great glory. A distinction we should wear with pride. Don't deny your true lineage. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. The Emperor has no power here. I do. Your self-delusions are irrelevant. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now. And he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. I should have told you the truth a long time ago. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... Brutal. You've been taught the ways of the dark side. Mm, sort of. Never been much of a student, and some things I'd rather forget. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. Whatever the Sith did, it's buried in your memories. We have to uncover it. I've tried. Every time I get close to the memory, it changes. It slithers away. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. You've been keeping secrets, Kira. That's not what Jedi do. I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. You're my Padawan, Kira. I made a promise to keep you safe. I know I haven't been a great Padawan, but I'm going to try harder. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kawix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last. I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Kawix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. 
But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. I don't owe you any explanations. Whatever your problem is, solve it fast. Our enemy could strike at any time. May the Force be with us all. Barsuth, we're out. Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Quix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira and Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? Arrest and interrogate her. Find out what she's still hiding. Exactly. Contain the threat until we understand it. Jedi are not jailers, Master Kaden. It's obvious she's told us everything she knows. I reached out through the Force while Kira spoke. I detected sadness and confusion, not malice. Yes. Despite her origins, I feel no trace of the dark side within her. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. What do you think, Masters? Should Kira remain my Padawan? I see no reason to punish a student who admits her error. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this Council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. When the Emperor's children hunt her again, what do you expect from me? We must learn more. Seize every opportunity to acquire knowledge about these people. If that's how I make amends, I'll do whatever it takes. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. You were pretty harsh. If the Council had listened to your recommendation, I'd be locked up. Keep up that attitude and you'll find out just how harsh I can be. I have a pretty clear idea of that. Just so you know, I won't hold a grudge about this. Wouldn't be very Jedi-like. Let's get back to work, Master. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Quix reported in? Last we heard, Quix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. Mm. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. Were you planning to destroy Tatooine? Of course not. When we discovered this potential, we immediately stopped testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Kuix, we must assume the worst. 
I sense Master Kawik through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. A Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. This is a top secret facility. Do these things have clearance to be here? Authorized by General Varsuthra himself. Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. Quix was a Jedi Master. This clearly wasn't your average Sith Lord. I don't know about average, but I've never seen anything like him. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kawix and the shock drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. Perhaps the Sith convinced the Sand People to keep an eye on this place. They attacked us long before the Sith arrived. Until he came along, our automated defenses kept us safe. This facility can pick up the shock drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kawix, and the shock drum. Facility power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. I just detected the shock drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. Why isn't the Sith deploying the shock drum someplace populated, like Coruscant? Tatooine may not be a core world, but there are still many innocent lives in danger. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down, somehow. Rick, that's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! Isn't there a signal you can transmit to deactivate the shock drum from here? You can only stop the weapon by entering the security code, manually. Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum's seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. I feel Master Kawix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. The odds we'll find her alive aren't even worth considering. If you're trying to prepare me for the worst, cut it out. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. Unless you're planning to invade that mining complex, you aren't much use to me. Brick completed repairs to his droids. 
We'll try to have them meet you there. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. Lord Sadik tried to kill me on Nar Shadda. He's dead now. An admirable victory. Assuming you achieved it honorably. When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. He'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. Lightsabers can deactivate just about anything. The shock drum is ray shielded. Entering the proper code is the only way. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. I fought Banthas that were deadlier than Tarnas. You insult my honor. Good. That makes me more powerful. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. When you challenged me to a duel, I didn't realize you'd fight with words. You prove my point. When faced with a chance to reason, you'd rather kill. Come. Let us end this. Die well, Jedi. Such skill. So much power. Impressive. You could be a great Sith if you embraced the dark side. Being a powerful Sith didn't help you much, did it? You are simply stronger than me. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the Shock Drum Code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. Why turn against your master? I serve a higher authority than any master. A Jedi wouldn't understand. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. You expect me to believe you care what happens to a Jedi? She faced me as a warrior. She should die as one. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. In another life, we might have been friends. I am ready. May the Force be with you. The Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brick and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Brick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. Some sort of creature? That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! I can't 
can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. You and your people get the beast's attention. I'll come in behind you and surprise it. That sounds like a great way to get these Jawas killed. Think of all the salvage down here. It could all be yours. Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? Darth Angrel wants to destroy the Republic. You're going to help me stop him. I am in no condition to face a Sith Lord. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. I need the power to survive these conditions. Show me how you did it. Someday, when I am well enough to lead you through the trance. I know you face terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. But poor Brick's family. I saw them in the cavern. What happened? <laughs> I begged you to protect them, and you used them as cannon fodder. The Sand Demon was between us and the Shock Drum. We had no choice. Brick, I'm so sorry. Our mourning must wait until the present dangers are past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? The General can clean this up. We have other problems. I will stay and guard it until Republic forces arrive. This cavern silence will be refreshing. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be alright? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you really believe that, finish her training. There is nothing I can teach her in my present state. Besides, you still need her. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. General, I've secured your shock drum prototype. Send a recovery team to pick it up, along with Seismologist Heron and Master Quix. Wonderful news. I have some thoughts for modifying the shock drum into an aerial bombardment device. I'll send a transport to Tatooine immediately. But don't get ahead of yourself, Doctor. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Marsuthra out. General, I'm on Alderaan. Have you heard from Master Orgus? Negative. Considering the chaos there, it's a wonder any messages get through. Alderaan's a war zone. The nobles are fighting to decide who's in charge, and whether this world aligns with the Republic or the Empire. I thought Alderaan was already a Republic world. When we signed the Treaty of Coruscant, hardliners on Alderaan formally withdrew from the Republic. Unfortunately, some nobles took the opportunity to ally with the Empire. My people developed a Deathmark weapon to end this conflict with surgical precision. Extraordinary device. It marks targets with a microscopic tag. Undetectable. Tracks targets anywhere on the planet. Feed the target's coordinates to a focused beam laser, and it can kill them from across a continent. A weapon like that could take out enemy leaders without risking troops. Generals, tacticians, Sith Lords. Eliminate them, and the enemy collapses. 
The death mark has one regrettable disadvantage. The targeting device's range is extremely limited, 20 meters or so. Once a target is marked, however, the laser can hit it from any range. I fear efforts to guard the weapon have failed. Master Orgus's last transmission came from Organa Palace. After that, nothing. Could someone in the palace have betrayed Master Orgus? House Organa is the Republic's strongest ally. Something's happened, but not on their end. Count Alder was the last to see Master Orgus. He co-funds the Deathmark project with us. I tried informing the Count of your arrival, but communications there have been crippled. Reports indicate multiple holo relays destroyed. Standard Imperial battle tactic. House Organa can't spare the troops to get their holo relays online. Maybe you can help? I'm a Jedi, not a repair tech. Understood. We'll make do with what we have. You'll find Count Alda at the embassy near Organa Palace. Good luck. Marsuthra out. Count Alda? I'm an associate of Master Orcus Din. I'm here about the Deathmark project. I wasn't notified you were coming, but you'll want to hear this. Elena, tell the Jedi what you told me. I worked at the Deathmark research facility. We were conducting routine tests when Imperial forces breached our security doors. There was a hideous little man with them. A Sith, I think. People usually know a Sith when they see one. What makes you unsure? He just seemed... different. He barely spoke. Let the Imperials do all the fighting. Until the Jedi came. Before anyone knew what happened, a single Jedi wiped out all the Imperial troops. Way to take care of business, Master Orgus. I'm sorry, but the Jedi... He didn't survive. The Sith was deadly. He'd vanish, then leap out of the shadows. He surprised your friend. Stabbed him in the back. It was horrible. You're sure Master Orgus was killed? No one could survive that. When the Jedi fell, the Sith summoned reinforcements. But not Imperials. Killix. Intelligent, man-sized insects living underground. Flesh-eaters. Ghastly things. How did the Sith communicate with them? Oh, they're highly evolved. That's what makes them deadly. Those things poured into the facility. Started tearing everyone apart. I ran. There was nothing you could have done. Thank the stars you survived to give us this news. The Sith now controls the death mark. No telling who he's targeted. Is there evidence this weapon has killed someone? With war raging around us, how would we notice? Win Organa is organizing peace talks with the other houses. It's possible to say... That was the Deathmark laser! It killed Count Alda! It happened so fast, I never felt the danger. Have to get out of here! It's not safe! We're all gonna die! The Count! You there! Hands up! Men! Take their weapons. Lock down this building. I need to find the Count's killer. Anyone who gets in my way will regret it. Men, lethal force authorized. Back against the wall, and put your hands up. This is your final warning. Are you insane? She's a Jedi Knight! We had nothing to do with this. We'll verify your identities and alibis. If what you say is true, you'll be released. Long-range communications are down. May take weeks to sort this out, but I promise you fair treatment. I don't have time for this. Out of my way. That's it. Take her down. Please, stop fighting. You... you can lock me up. Just let the Jedi go. I'll probably lose my commission over this, but very well. I'll release you on your own recognizance. This woman will remain in a secure area until you return. You made the right choice. The alternative would have been unpleasant. I'm aware of that. You've got to find the death mark before that Sith kills again. Here are the coordinates to the research facility. What's left of it. I hope you find something useful. Take care, Master Jedi. Hey, what took you so long? I was told the Sith killed you in a duel. How are you still walking around? Try not to sound so disappointed. 
You've looked better, Master. Sure you're all right? I've looked worse, Kira. I'll be fine. Blasted Sith almost killed me. It was all I could do to save Dr. Parvix. The enemy left us here as food for the Killix. Taking down that Killick leader must have been quite a fight. The thing was huge. Master, I don't know what you're talking about. The giant Killick uh, leading these others. You didn't see it? If that thing eats us, you're fired. You all right, Doctor? Don't worry about me. The Death Mark is in enemy hands. You must warn Count Alda. The Count was just killed by the Death Mark. The targeting device was taken to Organa Palace. Have you met a woman calling herself Elena Hark? You're losing me, old man. What's the Miri Allen girl got to do with this? Elena's a spy. She helped the Sith steal the Death Mark, and now she's targeting people with it. She could have marked dozens of people by now. The weapons laser can kill them at any time, anywhere. Not if we cut its power. The laser's still tied into the local energy grid, right? Several power stations supply the laser. Deactivating them would take the laser offline, at least temporarily. Isn't there a central computer controlling the laser? Can't we just shut it down from here? The Sith took everything with him. We'll have to do this the hard way. I'll get Dr. Parvix to safety. You deactivate the laser's power stations. I have coordinates to every station. Deactivate them in the order I've described. Don't leave even one functional. We'll head to the closest Republic-friendly camp. Meet us there. May the Force be with you. Well, well. The Jedi who killed Tarnas back on Coruscant. I'd rather if you didn't shut down my laser's power stations. I need them. I have so many targets waiting to be vaporized. Who's next? The farm girl or the old colonel? Farm girl? Colonel? What are you talking about? I've randomly targeted dozens of Alderanians from all walks of life. It felt... democratic. Oh dear, I'm afraid the farm girl didn't make it. I wonder how long the old colonel will survive. I can kill anyone I like, and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a lovely day. Determined to spoil my fun, aren't you? Now I have to set up new power stations where you can't reach. At most, you've bought yourself a few hours. Proud of yourself? Don't count on killing anyone else. You'll be dead soon. Promises, promises. I deactivated the laser's power stations, but Darth Angrel's apprentice contacted me. Dozens of innocent people are targets of the Death Mark. We need to end this before he brings that laser back online. This is Wynn Organa, chief negotiator of the peace talks to end this war. Elena Hark had free run of Organa Palace. Everyone there could be a target, including me. If you're marked for death, why hasn't the Sith already killed you? I don't know. But my people are living in terror. There's more bad news. Elena escaped Organa Palace after you left. However, my spies report a woman matching her description entered House Thule's compound. House Thule? They support the Empire. Yes, but Duke Thule openly advocates the peace process. I thought he was sincere. What if the Sith want to silence him? You're giving the enemy too much credit, Orgus. Either way, the death mark is at House Thule. If we want it, we'll have to take it. I'm hoping you have something in mind other than a frontal assault. How you get in there is your business. You're in charge of recovering the death mark from House Thule. I have my own mission. There's only a few places Angle's apprentice could be operating from. We need to narrow down that list of candidates. We should focus all our efforts on securing the Deathmark device. For all we know, Angle's apprentice copied the technology. We can't risk him escaping. Our destiny's part here, my friend. I'll contact you when I've found our enemy. I hope to hear from both of you when this threat is ended. Head for House Thule. May the Force be with you. Be reasonable, Duke. Your calls for peace are misguided. 
Unnecessary. Lord Nefarid wants what's best for House Thule. Unconditional victory. And all he asks is that I betray Organa. <gasps> Who the skies are you? Get out of my way. I need to kill that assassin next to you. Assassin? What are you talking about? Don't listen to her. She wants to confuse you. Be warned. I am prepared to kill you. Lord Nefarid trained me to fight a Jedi. What about two Jedi? Guards, defend the Duke. If you must kill me, at least tell me why. The Jedi isn't here for you, fool. Not that it matters. No one will escape Lord Nefarid's purge. You're both dead. Just like everyone scrabbling for peace. As the last person marked Jedi, you'll be the first to fall. Why wasn't I a target after our first meeting? With Count Alda? I assumed the Killix would eat you. A mistake I've now corrected. If you're hoping to remove that mark on you, don't. I've just rendered the targeting device non-functional. Then we've heard enough from you. Ah! Blasted woman has doomed us both. Unless we work together. I don't need help from an Imperial lackey. Correction. An Imperial lackey who knows where Lord Nefarid's hiding. I knew it would be wise to keep tabs on that Sith. Disgusting little men like him are always up to something. He's using a mountain bunker as a base. I'll give you the coordinates. Kill him if you can. Should have known working together meant I'd take all the risk. I dare say you're better equipped to face a Sith than I am. I'm leaving for the spaceport. I'll try to outrun the death mark in case you fail. But first, this traitor dies. My only regret is you knocked her unconscious. Quick and painless. Much better than she deserved. And the Jedi Council worries about me going to the dark side. Go! Stop Nefarid, for both our sakes! Master Orgus, the Deathmark device is destroyed, but I was scanned by it. Darth Angrel's apprentice is targeting me. I'm on my way to his stronghold. Where are you? Too far to help. I misled you back at the camp. I haven't been searching for the apprentice. I've been hunting Darth Angrel, and I just found his cruiser. I thought Jedi were supposed to be honest. Didn't want you following me. Someone has to save Alderaan. The cruiser's at the edge of the system, outside the reach of planetary sensors. It's about to jump for hyperspace. This may be our only shot at stopping him. I'm boarding that cruiser. Just wanted someone to know. In case. You're a fool to go there without me. Don't get yourself killed. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Stop Angle's apprentice. Save Alderaan. May the Force be with you. Orgus out. You truly are a stubborn one. Won't be satisfied until you've completely inconvenienced me, will you? I killed your spy. Without her marking people, you'll run out of targets. Then I'll have to make the most of who's left. My master is transmitting the most amusing hollow message right now. You really should watch it with me. Assaulting my cruiser alone. Very careless of you, Augustine. It's not too late, Angrel. Do the right thing for once. Surrender. Pity you didn't bring your student. I could kill you both. Tell me, Jedi, are you afraid to die? There is no death. There is only the Force. If there is no death, where is my son? No! And now I'll finish you. After all, you can't fight what you can't see. I have no tears for that old man. I'm stronger than him, you, and Angro combined. Strength is overrated. It's better to strike first than hardest. Oh, I almost forgot. The Deathmark laser is finally back online. And it's tracking you.
The death mark has been destroyed. Your people are safe. I will inform Organa Palace immediately. We are forever in your debt. Duke Thule reports you executed the spy Elena. I wish she could have stood trial for her crimes. Her testimony might have turned the other houses firmly against the Empire. Darth Angrel captured and murdered my Jedi Master. My sympathies. Master Orga seemed like a great man. Rest assured, I won't let your Master's sacrifice be in vain. Be well, Jedi. We should head back to the ship. Tell General Varsuthra about Master Orgus. General, the Death Mark has been destroyed. And I have news about Master Orgus. Darth Angrel broadcast Orgus's execution over the holonet, of the body floating in space for us to find. A Republic shuttle has just recovered the remains from the edge of the Alderaan system. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling Orgus planned all this. Somehow, he planted a tracking beacon on Angrel's cruiser without the Sith realizing it. Every time Angrel's ship drops out of hyperspace, we know where. Orgus got the last laugh. If Orgus had let me go with him, he'd still be alive. I could have killed Angrel. Maybe, maybe not. Regardless, the odds favor us next time. Stand by. Report coming through. Angrel is on the move. They've just picked up the tracking signal in the Euphrates system. That agro world supplies nearly half of Carson's food. I'm scrambling the fleet, but you're closer. I'll handle Angrel. By the time your ships arrive, there won't be anything left. Angrel's dreadnought has a slight turbo laser advantage over your gunship. Any damage to Euphrates' food production could cripple the Republic. One warship can only destroy so much. Tell that to Terrace. Transmitting Euphrates coordinates. Good hunting. No sign of Darth Angrel. But Euphrates, I saw this planet once, with Master Kowix. It used to be green. General, I've arrived at Euphrates. There's no sign of Angrel, but the planet... I'll see for yourself. Receiving your sensor readings. Stand by. Euphrates' atmosphere looks like it's on fire. What could have done that? Damage consistent with designs recovered on Ord Mantell. The Desolator weapon. How many millions are dead because you let the Sith steal your secret weapon? Euphrates had millions of citizens. Whole continents of farmlands. All that life extinguished. The scale of this is... it's unthinkable. Getting an emergency transmission. It's faint, coming from the far side of the planet. Republic vessel, do you copy? This is medical frigate Daybreaker. We're under attack! Imperial commandos have boarded us! Help! It's one of ours. The crew may know what happened here. Angrel doesn't want any witnesses. That ship may have sensor readings of the Desolator. Invaluable data. The fleet won't get here in time. You need to save that ship! Hurry! Let's hope we can get there in time. Plotting an intercept course now. Strap yourselves in. That was the last of the Imperials. You're safe now. Not a minute too soon. Those commandos weren't taking prisoners. I still can't believe what happened to Euphrates. When we arrived, an Imperial ship was attacking the planet. I've never seen anything like it. Euphrates was trapped inside an energy field. Some starships tried to flee, but their engines failed before they could leave the atmosphere. No one escaped. Every ship that tried crashed back onto the surface. You stood by and watched all this? Pathetic. We're a flying med center, for pity's sake. What could we do? We tried to run, but Imperial boarding pods overtook us. I saw Euphrates' atmosphere catch fire. Horrific destruction. Flames consumed the planet. Everything turned to smoke and ash in seconds. What happened to the Imperial warship? It jumped to hyperspace. No telling where it is now. Captain, look at this. Our sensors detect faint life readings on the planet's surface. Possible survivors. Anyone left on that planet is as good as dead. If we go down there, we can provide food, water, shelter, and medicine. It's our duty.
The energy field surrounding Euphrates will destroy your ship's engines. You won't be able to leave. You could hold out a long time in this ship. Long enough for the Republic to make Euphrates safe again. We're the only hope those people have. Every second counts. Please, he'll listen to you. Talk to him. It's not that I don't want to help, but I have a family to think about. This ship carries combat-grade Colto packs, battle adrenals, you name it. Talk her out of this crazy idea. You'll have your pick of our supplies. I've pinpointed the strongest life signs. We can land immediately. Listen to me. I'm a Jedi. If there was anyone alive down there, I'd sense it. There's nothing you can do for Euphrates. Let it go. If the Empire's restarting the war, we'll be needed out there. You're right. I'm clutching at false hope. Excuse me. Here. This will unlock the ship's med stores. I'll just report them as lost during the boarding action. You did the right thing. Thank you. The Daybreaker is secure, General. The crew witnessed what Angrel did here. The ship's captain just transmitted sensor logs to the fleet. We've seen what we're up against. Small consolation. Angrel's next attack will undoubtedly be more direct. You think he'll attack Coruscant again? Anything's possible. How do we defend against such careless hatred? I'll contact the Galactic Senate and put every Republic world on... Wait! We're getting another emergency alert from Tython. Relaying it now. Under attack by Darth Angrel. Launching defense fighters. Angrel's battlecruiser deploying energy weapon. Our ship can't escape Python's atmosphere. We're trapped. That explains why Angrel left Euphrates so quickly. He's already chosen his next target. With all that tactical intelligence, how could you not see this coming? There are more tactically advantageous targets to strike. Angrel's acting from emotion, not logic. The Republic fleet's in hyperspace. By the time it's redirected to Typhon, it'll be too late. The Desolator needs time to work. The Jedi may be trapped on Typhon, but you're not. You could board Angrel's battlecruiser. Disable the weapon before it fires. There are other Jedi not on Typhon. Send them to help me. I'll gather all the reinforcements I can find, but it'll take time. I'll use the sensor logs to find the Desolator's weak point. Contact us when you're aboard Angrel's warship. May the Force be with you. General, we got a little scorched, but we're inside Angrel's battlecruiser. Yes, I knew you could do it. Now to end that Sith for good. Luck is with us. The refit to Angrel's warship was crude. Knocking out any reactor relay will disrupt the Desolator's charge and shut it down. Of course, those relays are certain to be well guarded. <laughs> If this is an excuse to stay behind where it's safe, I'll have your memory wiped. Your signal's breaking up. May the... Ingrid's jamming our transmissions. He's coming for us. I don't need any false encouragement from you. I do. Thanks, T7. You will not steal my victory. Not now. I have sacrificed too much for this. I will avenge my son on you and all the Jedi. Sacrifice? Is that what you call your genocide on Euphrates? This was merely a test and a lure to bring you here. I foresaw this confrontation. I welcome it. Today I forge a new era for the Sith. One where the Jedi are finally extinct. Finish this, Angrel. I command it. With pleasure, my master. What... what was that? I felt... the Emperor... You are his child. His eyes, his ears, his weapon to command. 
Come, child. Fight by my side. It's where you belong. I'd rather jump out an airlock naked. If you don't resist the Emperor, I'll destroy you myself. Fine by me. Let's finish this. If you will not serve, you will die. For Tarnis. Angle's dead, and this battle cruiser's not far behind him. Disappointing. Angrel was useful. This child must learn her place. And so will you. Have your little puppet, Emperor. For as long as she lasts, anyway. Long enough. I see futures in you. Futures I will not allow. Your future ends here. This child is unfinished, weak. I will make her strong. Now you will die. Even if my child must die with you. No, I won't kill for you. You're a threat, Padawan. Destroy yourself or I'll do it for you. I won't die either. The dark side has no power over me. I am a Jedi. He's gone. I won. I'm finally free. What was it like under the Emperor's control? Were you aware of our duel? Everything. Especially you telling the Emperor he could have me. The ship's coming down on top of us. Let's get out of here. Thank the Force you're alive. When I saw Angrel's battlecruiser explode, I feared the worst. Haven't you learned? I'm more powerful than anything the Sith can throw at me. Please come to the surface. Bring your Padawan to the Council Chambers. We all have much to discuss. Welcome home. The Jedi owe you a debt of gratitude we can never repay. The Jedi wore Republic medals. Your robe would be covered in them. Only wish Master Orgus could share in this victory. You're looking well, Master Quix. Better with each passing day, thanks to you. We've lost one of our noblest masters. But in his place stands a Jedi without equal. And you, Padawan. I knew you'd remain true to us. The Emperor took control of her on Angrel's ship. I had to beat some sense into her. The Emperor did what? How can you be so casual about that? It, uh, sounds worse than it was. And it won't happen again. The fact that you're here reveals all I need to know. As leader of this council, it's my pleasure to promote Kira Carson to the rank of Jedi Knight. You mean it? Master Satil, you can't be serious. Kira deserves this promotion. I suggest you accept what you cannot change. The danger to Tython is over, but we're getting fresh reports of hostilities all over the galaxy. Another war with the Empire seems inevitable. Darth Angrel was the spark that lit the flame. Even in failure, he inspired the Sith to violence. But he also forged our greatest weapon against the darkness. The Force has shown me what lies ahead. The futures of many rest on your actions. You will decide the fate of the Jedi, the Republic, the galaxy. Master, that's quite a burden. I'm only one Jedi. The will of the Force can't be denied, but I'll stand by you through everything we must face. May the Force be with you. With all of us. The Force is with you, now and always. Master Orgus? His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Leave me alone, old man. I've dealt with enough dead Jedi for one day. A starship crashed in a desert canyon. 
Use the force. Find it. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. Must have been your imagination. I wasn't talking to anyone. Got you practicing a speech, huh? Planning to run for Supreme Chancellor? Ready to go when you are. I assume you have a destination in mind? Where we go is my business. War zones really make you cranky. I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel. The hero of Tython. <laughs> my mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? First, tell me about these Sith. They're like nothing I've encountered before. Abominations of the dark side. The Emperor's personal assassins. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. I'd almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The hero of Tython just rescued me. An impossible coincidence. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. I knew she was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. The galaxy is spiraling into war. Get your heads out of the council chambers and into the fight. Patience. There is much you still don't know. Jomar, a medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. Oh, if I never return to Tatooine, it'll be too soon. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tol Braga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. I'm good with a lightsaber, but that's an awful lot of work. If Master Braga has his way, you won't need weapons. I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Englemore and Darth Engel were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. Wouldn't it be easier to kill the Emperor? If the opportunity presents itself, we shouldn't hesitate. Killing the Emperor only creates a power vacuum. My plan will end the Sith Empire forever. There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. Unless you plan to hold the Emperor hostage, leaving will be a bigger problem. Our entire operation will be conducted in secret. The Empire won't know we're there. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Kaas system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Dalmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there, and the fighting has endangered our mission. Open war on Balmora? When did this happen? The invasion just began. Balmora belonged to the Republic before the Sith conquered it during the last war. Now the Republic wants it back. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sodoro when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us. Ah, Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sidoru. A pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. 
Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. If the Republic has come to repay those deaths, good. I lost my taste for war decades ago. I'm only here to secure our team's objective. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. How did the Empire develop cloaking device technology? They didn't. Intelligence indicates the prototype is alien in design. Possibly Rakata or Gri. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. We discovered the cloaking device exists. Surely we can figure out where it is. But we can't afford to waste time pursuing false leads. Unfortunately, the Resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. We have armies here, don't we? The Republic has its hands full. Trust me, it's up to you. I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. The Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! I'm the Chief Medic. Just call me Doc. I appreciate your hard work, Gorgeous. But there's a whole nest of colicoids coming. No time to evacuate. I'd never let anything bad happen to a nice guy like you. Not even if I asked nicely? I've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Do we have to save him too? I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come! Hey, look at that. We are alive. Nice work. A lot of wounded here. You're the only doctor. Honey, I do the work of ten medics, and that's on a bad day. Say, you might be wounded and not know it. Let me check you over. Hands off. Does anyone fall for that line? Just the lucky ones. I don't know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility, but we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move. And the Empire stole my trauma kits. I'm here to steal something from the Empire. Your people need to help me. I can arrange that, if my patients survive. Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time. I got as many trauma kits as I could find. Beautiful. The, uh, kits look good, too. He's a walking hormone. Apologies for being late. My detour around those Imperial forces took longer than expected. Forgive my bluntness, but you appear to be a Jedi who's seen many battles. Mementos from my previous disagreements with Sith. I was quite the warrior once. Thought evil was something I could conquer with my lightsaber. I've conquered quite a bit of evil with my lightsaber. I remember that feeling of accomplishment when an enemy fell, but don't be deceived. Peace cannot take root in fear, nor be nourished with blood. Master Braga taught me that. 
You've done well saving this facility and its patients. The Resistance has already agreed to help us find the cloaking device prototype. The super advanced gadget you're after? The Resistance can narrow down its location, but we need access to the enemy's computer network. The only connection point is at Sobrick, which is covered in Imperial forces. Troop legions, walkers, heavy bombers. Fun place. That sounds like a perfect place to crush the Imperials. A frontal assault. Suicide? Place is covered in ray shields. I believe we can diminish the Imperial forces without firing a shot. The Empire has several comm relays around Sobrick tied to other Imperial strongholds. An early warning system. Great. When we attack, they can summon more troops to kill us. Or we make the Imperials think we're attacking their other strongholds. We'll infiltrate those comm relays, upload fake alerts, and siphon away Sobrick's defenders, leaving it vulnerable. I doubt the Empire leaves its comm relays unguarded. The comm relays are protected by advanced Imperial war droids. Very fast, extremely deadly. I'm no longer quick enough to defeat those war droids. But you are. Then the Resistance can raid the Empire's computer network. We'll figure out where they've stashed that whatchama thingy it you want. Use this data pad on the comm relays to upload the fake emergency signals. I'll find a good vantage spot to watch Sobrick and keep you informed of our progress. Be careful out there. Perfect. Sobrick's defenses have been reduced to the bare minimum. The resistance team is heading in. I think it's best if you follow and keep an eye on them. Too much is riding on this mission. You could contribute something to this mission besides bright ideas. By the time I reach Sobrick, it would be too late to help. You're already in position. The Resistance team identified a vehicle depot as their best access point to the Imperial computer system. Transmitting the grid coordinates now. I'll continue monitoring Sobrick. If I see trouble, I'll alert you immediately. Keep our new friends safe. Over and out. Have you accessed the Imperial network? Already downloaded everything. We were leaving when the Imperial medical transport landed for refueling. Avers and his men opened fire. Elmer and scum! Murderers! My men are dying. We'll never reach the med center now. You just made my season, imp. Bet you've got some choice gear on that transport. Greedy vermin! These soldiers were defending Balmora! If you want a quick death, shut your mouth. Otherwise, I'll take my time. I don't care how obnoxious he is. Killing wounded soldiers isn't right. Do you read? Colocoid nests stirred up by fighting. Waves of them headed for Sobrick's outskirts. Leave now or you'll be surrounded. Colocoids? They'll rip us apart! Every man for himself! Move! We can't flee! Those beasts will kill us! I don't abandon wounded men, even Imperials. Then again, being eaten wasn't on my agenda for today. Huh? Hmm. I can save these soldiers if someone keeps the colicoids off me. It's too late. Get out of here. I'll be right behind you. Here, take these med kits. Maybe the colicoids won't find you. I hope they tear you limb from limb. I'm meeting Warren at these coordinates. I'll see you there. Idiot. Does he really think these medkits will help us? You won't need them. What are you... No! No! When the doctor arrived without you, I feared the worst. Thought you were right behind me. What took you so long? I was busy covering your escape. Those colloquoids were hungry. Thank the Force you survived. I couldn't finish this mission without you. This is Nicolan Cord, one of the top Resistance leaders. He analyzed the data we obtained from Sobrick. Found us a lead. One of our spies was captured weeks ago, attempting to steal what might be the Empire's cloaking device project. The data revealed where she's being held. How long has the Resistance known about the cloaking device? Long enough. It became an object of interest for obvious reasons. We believe she's inside an Imperial Tactical Operations base. Heavily fortified, protected by a regiment of troops. Well, that's where I come in. Colonel Finley commands the Republic's 5th Expeditionary Force. He's agreed to assist our operation. 
Trouble is, if that tech op space crew sees my troops marching in, they'll close the blast shields. Those shut, there's no getting them open. My weapon can cut through anything, even a blast shield. No time. If the enemy summons reinforcements while we're stuck outside, we'd be trapped. One of you Jedi could slip inside, disable the blast shields before they close, then the base would be ours. We'd have to distract that Imperial regiment, create an opening. My troops provide quite a distraction. The Resistance must be part of this. Our spy won't talk if I'm not there. I'll escort the Resistance. That leaves you to penetrate the base and deactivate those blast shields ahead of our arrival. Nice of you to volunteer me for the hard job. When you're as old as I am, you can give the heavy lifting to others, too. I'll prepare my forces to move out. That resistance leader. Let's keep an eye on him. His spy is the key to our victory, and he knows it. Get inside the Empire's base and deactivate those blast shields. We'll be waiting for your signal. Bad news, my friend. The Empire just landed heavy war droids in the region. Hunter killers. The droids are patrolling the territory between you and the objective. If they detect you heading for that Imperial base, they'll raise an alert. risk the base's blast shields closing before you get there. You'll have to disable those war droids quickly. If I destroy the war droids, the enemy will know I'm coming. They'll just assume it's an attack on the war droids. By the time they realize your true objective, it'll be too late. I'm sending the latest reconnaissance data on the war droids' positions. Eliminate them and continue on to the Imperial base. Never a dull moment. We should visit war zones more often. There, you have the data. Be careful. Over and out. Warren, I've disabled the base's blast shields. It's wide open for you. We're almost there, but Colonel Finley detects a reactor surge coming from the base. Looks like the base commander initiated a self-destruct sequence. You don't have much time to stop it. Shut down all the security consoles in there as fast as you can. Hurry! Self-destruct aborted. The base is ours, Warren. Send in the troops. Doc, what are you doing here? I'm busting you out, sweetheart. Where else would I be? I didn't see you in here while I was fighting half the Imperial Army. I had your back the whole time. We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. Life signs green across the board. Where are the other prisoners? The Empire executed them. I was next. You came just in time. We're glad you're safe. Please, tell us what you discovered about the Empire's cloaking device project. Imperial scientists left Balmora with the prototype when the Republic invaded. It's long gone. Metal, I sense great conflict within you. I know you're lying. What are you afraid of? Wait just a minute, she's one of us. Reveal what you're hiding, or answer to me. Threats are redundant. She's already frightened. The truth will come out. Wouldn't you rather be the one who reveals it? When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. Promise you'll stop him. We can't make assurances until we know what this is about. I should have let the Imperials kill me. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Names, locations, plans. I knew it. 
The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information. Give them something they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. Why did you lie before? Why not tell us where to go? I was afraid if you went there, you'd find out what I'd done. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. Cooperating with me doesn't erase your crimes to the Resistance. They'll decide your fate. Go easy on her. You might have done the same in her position. I promise her trial will be short. Let's go, Metal. I've had my fill of this blasted war. We need to get the Empire off Balmora for good. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. What would a medic know about a weapons factory? Ran a hospital there when it was Resistance territory. I still know people inside. His knowledge and expertise will come in handy. Take him with you. Hey, if the Imperials attack with grenades... You can throw Doc on them. Colonel Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with us. The turbo lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get behind me, beautiful. I'll protect you. Doc, I thought the imps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always, pretend to cooperate with the Imperials, and stab them in the back every chance I get. The Empire's about to lose Balmora. Start stabbing. Don't have to tell me twice. We're in a bind, pal. You know any way into the secure labs? Sure. The imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with a Jedi, Remy. You're a meat shield, Doc. Nothing more. She's crazy about me. Now get out of here, old man. Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. Right now, I'm thinking of what we could do to the Empire's forces with that technology. It could turn the tide of this war. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out. I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. Worked like a charm. Pretty amazing, huh, gorgeous? How did I ever get by without you? Best not to think about it. Those bad old days are over. <gasps> you suppose the Empire knows we're here? That's far enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. You had a shortcut into this place and you didn't tell us? We stole this Imperial transport during the raid on Sobrik. 
Security here was too busy fighting you to double-check our identification. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. I can kill you both and take that prototype. No one would ever know the truth. I suggest you give me what I want. You're threatening us? The Republic is truly corrupt. At least we know who to trust. Let's get out of here. You'll have to find your own transport out of here. This one only seats two. I never liked him anyway. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? I thought you'd never ask, Doc. A gentleman waits for just the right moment. Warren, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. I have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We heard about your disagreement with the Resistance leader. He's calling for Balmora to turn independent once the Empire retreats. Balmora will rejoin the Republic if the people know what's good for them. Regardless, they have no claim to this cloaking technology. I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand? I barely know the man, and that suits me fine. Ah, still, you have my thanks. It's been a pleasure. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. We may as well have been on different planets. Just knowing you were here gave me strength. I hope I returned the favor. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. His keen insights were limited to letting me do all the hard work. Warren was the Order's greatest soldier in his day. Now that role falls to you. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. What is it that makes me so special? Your former student, Kira, has much in common with mine. Sejar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the dark side, and train as a Jedi. He must have taken a lot of persuading. Our debate was a duel in itself. I appealed to the good in him, no matter how he attacked me. Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sejar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sejar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sejar and save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. Can I look forward to you dropping by like this for the rest of my life? Uh, you alright? The hollow transmission's over. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away.
My master sent you, didn't he? Of course. My shame is complete. This war, I wasn't ready. I never should have left Tython. You left this base nearly defenseless. These people need a Jedi, not a coward. I'm not a coward. Not a Jedi, either. When the Empire first invaded, soldiers here captured some Imperial scouts. Brought them to me for interrogation. The prisoners angered me. I killed them. Lied about what happened. When Imperial forces arrived outside, I hurled the corpses at them. Revealed my true face. Master Braga told me about your past. He said you embraced the light side. I thought I'd changed. I want to. But this war... The only reason I stayed is because an Imperial officer recognized me. Called me by my old name. Said the Emperor's wrath is coming. He's sending his personal executioner for me. His wrath incarnate. I will be punished for my crimes. But you're condemning the brave Republic men and women here, too. I can't save them, and they won't retreat. What can I do? Fighting would accelerate my return to the dark side. I'd rather die with Jedi teachings in my heart. I'm no counselor, but this guy's a few banthas short of a herd. He's not gonna be much help. Lieutenant Gundo, 86th Infantry. You're here just in time. We got Imperial forces massing outside. My engineers jury rig some ray shields, but it'll take time to seal the base. Unless you people hold the main entrance, we're dead. Please. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I can't fight them. You made this mess. You'll help clean it up. Arm yourself. Move. Falling in defense of others would be a good death. We're out of time. Imperials are coming through. Defend the main entrance. That's it! We did it! With the ray shields up, we can hold out until reinforcements get here. Then we kill our enemies. Yes. Destroy them to the last man. No. No. That's not... I told you. I shouldn't have done this. Hang on. We've got movement outside the ray shield. Who is that? What a mystery the Force can be. I came seeking a traitor, but found you instead. The time draws near. You're not making any sense. Do you know me, Sith? Many know your name. Some whisper it, others shout it. I alone recognize what it means. You're strong and touched by darkness. That is unexpected. An advantage? Possibly. You may keep the Dark Council traitor. I smell his weakness. He'll die by his own hand, given the chance. Admit it. You don't want to face me. Arrogant and prideful. Surprising in so many ways. The Emperor must hear of our meeting. I won't disappoint him with delays. Farewell for now. Is it freezing in here, or is that just my blood crystallizing? That other Jedi seemed pretty upset. Maybe you ought to talk to him while we secure things here. The Emperor's wrath is gone. He isn't coming back for you. I had no doubts about myself during that battle. I felt good. Clean. Free. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know what to do. I've killed dozens, maybe hundreds of Imperials. Am I evil? No. To win, we must kill the enemy before they kill us. Master Braga doesn't understand that, but I do. If you can be what's necessary, a weapon to destroy all who threaten the Republic, then you'll be a hero. Funny. I always thought being a hero would sound... heroic. You're asking me to do exactly what the Empire commanded. 
defend its civilization at all costs. The people you came from are a plague that needs eradicating. You can't save them. My master said I could be saved. Am I the only one? Master Braga says one thing and you say the opposite. But I feel the truth of your words. I'll meditate on your guidance. Please tell my master I'm alright. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Sejar had a crisis of confidence, but I set him on the right path. He isn't afraid to fight anymore. That may be so, but Crush is no place for a Padawan. I'll have him transported somewhere safe. Thank you for confirming Sejar as well. Do you have anything else to report? The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? The Council has heard that title, but little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Anquil incident. Our strike team is pursuing a new goal on the ice planet Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Travel to Hoth and contact Jedi Knight Leha Norez. She'll explain more. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, out. This is Jedi Knight Leha Norez. Please identify. Master Tall Braga sent me to help you. I already received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw pirates of all things. I'm getting a lot of interference on this end. What's the problem? The planet's atmosphere plays havoc with calm frequencies. We're lucky to have any signal at all. Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. Were there valuables aboard when they went down? That's putting it mildly. One of the crash vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. A map of the bad guy's house. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. That's a surprising amount of top secret information. Republic SIS raided an Imperial intelligence base on Nar Shaddaa. This information was among dozens of classified data files they recovered. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> I'm headed for the main Republic base. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. Liha Norez, out. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. We knew the Empire was here. How could they possibly surprise us? Until now, the Empire has been more interested in the White Maw Pirates than us. I'm defending a forward outpost, but our support team is pinned down closer to you. I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. Master Braga said no one knows about our strike team. How did Republic soldiers get involved? They don't know the details of our mission, only that we're trying to save the galaxy. Those soldiers are in terrible danger. The probe droids are making suicide runs, exploding when they get close. Saw things like that on Belmora. They can make a real mess. Sergeant Rusk has vital information we need. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the Force be with you. Leha Norez sent me. Looks like I got here just in time. No worries, Master Jedi. I was prepared to hold this position indefinitely. Sergeant Fiddleton Rusk, 301st Infantry. My squad's at your service. There's no more squad. We're all that's left. We're a squad until I say otherwise, Private. Now on your feet. No time for R&R. &R. Imperial forces are everywhere. Take it easy. That soldier needs medical attention. Reload your weapons, Private. The mission isn't complete. Our objective was to secure Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Target achieved. 
Imperial counterattackers pursued us here. Squad fatalities, 66.4%. Enemy fatalities, 100%. Hang on. I'm picking up a fresh wave of probe droids outside. They're headed this way. Make those droids sorry they ever came here. You heard her. Secure that door. Here they come! Is that all of them? Private? Yes, sir. Did they cut the lights, or...? Squad fatalities. 83.3%. At least he was useful, before he died. That's a soldier's duty. These are the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Leha Nerez wants to see them. I'll return to base and reconstitute my squad. We'll meet you at our coordinates ASAP. Stay sharp out there. This is General Callan Green, Republic High Command. I just arrived in orbit above Hoth. Quite a mess down there. I'm told you commandeered some men from the 301st Infantry for your classified operation. The Imperial Offensive left us in bad shape. We've been scratching your back. Now we need a favor. I have no obligation to repay you anything. What about defending the Republic? You still do that, right? Scout teams detected several Imperial weapon platforms under construction in the ice fields near our base. If the enemy sets artillery that close, they can shoot down our shuttles. I need you to destroy those weapon platforms. Now! Don't you have any troops to spare for this assault? You've seen what it's like down there. We're barely holding on. General Varsuthra tells me you can work miracles on a battlefield. I'm counting on it. You're receiving coordinates to the Imperial weapon platforms now. Good luck. General Green out. Scouts report the Imperial artillery teams are retreating. Nice work. I have a feeling I'll need you again before this is over. Hope you're planning to stick around. I've done you enough favors. Don't push it. Understood. General Grain out. I have the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. I understand Sergeant Rusk's squad paid dearly for these. Meaty One, please analyze the maps. Find any profile that matches a Pythar class Imperial shuttlecraft. The Meaties are pleased to meet you. They're great fans of yours. I didn't realize I'd become a droid celebrity. Maybe that's why those probe droids kept rushing at you. Ever since I built the Medes, I've been teaching them Jedi history, philosophy, everything. Someday, the Medes will prove that even droids can use the Force. Unless it relates to our mission, assume I don't care. I think you hurt the Medes' feelings. <laughs> you found something? Let me see. Hmm. The Empire recently discovered a crash site matching the scientist vessel. Imperial forces are excavating the wreck at an ice cavern nearby. We need to move fast, and we'll need reinforcements. What are the odds this is the same vessel we're looking for? The level of effort the enemy's putting into that excavation can't be a coincidence. I'll contact Sergeant Rusk and inform him of the situation. You and I will hit the enemy from two directions. I'll enter the cavern at these coordinates. You go in at this entrance. We'll meet in the middle. Don't worry, Meaty. The Force is with us. I'll see you at the cavern. Impatience got the better of me. I blundered in here like a Padawan. The heavy turrets were an unpleasant surprise. You know how many patients I've treated for heavy turret wounds? Zero. You're one in a billion, lady. You were surrendering, Jedi. I suggest you keep that promise. Give us a moment, please. I need to explain the situation to my friend. I don't see that many Imperials. Whatever I don't kill is yours. Wait a few moments. It'll be worth it. Turns out, the Imperial in the Hollow is more interested in capturing than killing us. Keep him talking. Trust me. My patience is at an end. Lay down your weapons or my men will destroy you. Those uniforms. You people aren't standard Imperial military. I am a member of the Emperor's personal guard, as are the men under my command. The soldiers you face are specially trained to kill Jedi, and they outnumber you. Not anymore. Imperial scum. They tricked us. Kill everyone! Got here as soon as we could. 
Had to engage some Imperial patrols in our way, but nothing serious. Nothing serious? Privates Vanth and Edder don't know what day it is. We're lucky to all be alive. Shut it down, Private. I don't tolerate insubordination. You men will follow Sergeant Rusk's orders to the letter. You will not complain. We'll follow Sergeant Rusk's orders to the letter. We won't complain. Was that your version of a pep talk? Thank you, Master Jedi. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Here, found this on an Imperial Major. Might be useful. This is the scientist's vessel. And look what I found hiding under a dead Imperial officer. The rest of your unit is dead, Imperial. Start talking, or you'll join them. Please, I don't know anything. I'm just a computer tech. You're soon to be dead, computer tech, unless you become useful. What my friend means is, we'd appreciate your full cooperation. My job was to slice the data banks of this old starship, but the White Moor beat us to them. They lifted the whole network. The pirates stole the ship's databanks? They took everything valuable, but they missed the computer decryption file. They can't read the data banks without this. I'll be taking that. The White Maw maintains a depot inside a crashed dreadnought. Everything they loot goes there. White Maw has its own dreadnought? It was a Republic flagship during the war. The White Maw moved in, but doesn't control all of it. The pirates secure their depot with ray shields. We'll have to find some way past them to reach those databanks. The Midi scouted White Maw territory. They located two reactors buried beneath the ice. They're no doubt powering the ray shields. If we destroy the reactors, we can enter the pirate depot. Sergeant Rusk, head for these coordinates and destroy the reactor there. My friend will destroy the one at these coordinates. Are you planning to sit this one out? We can't leave the Imperial here, and he's a liability on a combat mission. You're twice the warrior I am. I'll escort our prisoner to the Republic outpost near the Starship Graveyard. The Medes will perform reconnaissance on the Dreadnought. When both pirate reactors are destroyed, meet me at the outpost and we'll plan our assault. May the Force be with us. Hope this isn't a bad time, Master Jedi. We took out the other reactor, but General Grain just alerted me to a secondary objective. The White Maw has a series of munitions dumps here. Scouts report those weapons are headed for the Dreadnought. General Grain believes the pirates are reinforcing. He ordered me to hit those munitions dumps. Thought you might want to join in. You handle the pirates. I need to rendezvous with my fellow Jedi. Understood. I'll double time the men through this and meet you ASAP. Rusk out. Huh. A Jedi? Never killed one of your kind before. That reminds me. I should buy some armor. This should be interesting. You want to give me all your weapons and abandon this facility. <laughs> you got a strange sense of humor. Hey, what are you idiots doing? Get back here! Stupid house. Don't know what you did, but I'm not leaving. White Maw bosses kill deserters. The Gendai got no regard for life, not even their own. Of course, it's easy for them. They're indestructible. I've never heard of your leaders. Introduce me to them. Oh, they wouldn't like that. And neither would you. They can't die, but they enjoy killing even more than me. You got backup. I don't. Means I won't have to go easy on you. The Medes report the pirates' ray shields are down. Our goal is within reach. Any sign of Sergeant Rusk or his men? I expected them back by now. I'm more than a match for those pirates, with or without soldiers. Unfortunately, pirates aren't our only concern. Sorry to keep you waiting. We sustained heavy losses achieving our objectives. Squad strength is 33.2%, but we'll make do. What's the next mission? I'm not going anywhere. Following you maniacs will just get me killed. My squad mates survived two years of fighting on Ord Mantell. One day serving you wiped us out. Saving the galaxy requires sacrifice. We're all expendable to the mission, soldier. You can serve us or face the consequences. Go ahead. Throw me in the brig. At least I'll be safe. This private clearly needs medical attention. We can't send him back out like this. I'll find volunteers from this outpost to complete our mission and restore your squad to full strength. 
You're dismissed to the Med Center, Private. This is a full scan of the Dreadnought. The technical readouts are currently under minimal guard. Unfortunately, that area lies directly between two large forces. White Mob Pirates and Imperial Strike Teams. We'll just sit back and let our enemies wipe each other out. My fear is that one side will steal what we need and then retreat. We can't allow that. I will secure the technical readouts if you and Sergeant Russ keep those forces occupied. Which enemy would you prefer to face? Those troops are the Emperor's personal guards. I'd like to know why they're here. As do I. Their presence here is disturbing. Leave the White Mob Pirates to me. I'll make sure they don't bother you. Here are the coordinates to intercept the enemy forces. Once you engage them, I'll retrieve the technical readouts. Sergeant, let's get you some reinforcements. Perhaps I should do the talking. If you insist, Master Jedi. Be careful facing the Imperials, my friend. May the Force be with us. I hoped you would come. Our prior meeting terminated unsatisfactorily. Surrender, and you will be treated well. Resist, and, well, you know the rest. Why take me alive? What does the Emperor want? Even if I could answer you, I wouldn't. I serve my master's will. Not much of a conversationalist, is he? I gave you a fair chance, and you refused it. Men, kill this Jedi. I did it! I secured the technical readouts of the Emperor's Fortress. They contain schematics of its entire defense grid. Between this and the cloaking device prototype you recovered on Balmora, we have everything we need to capture the Emperor. I'm not injured or dead. Thanks for noticing. I assumed you'd be fine. You always are. Meet me at the main Republic base. Liha Naraz out. It's a wonder all your men survive such an enemy. How did you defeat the Gendai? Superior tactics. And a dozen thermal detonators. If that Gendai is still alive, I guarantee it wishes it wasn't. You didn't make certain the Gendai were finished before you left? What if they come back? I'll use two dozen thermal detonators. Your service has been exemplary, Sergeant. You and your men brought the Republic a great victory. Sergeant Rusk, and my cooperative Jedi friend. We finally meet in person. General Grain, been a while. Hard to believe you and I started in the same squad. Still a ground pounder, huh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It's honest work, sir. Enjoy catching up, you two. We're needed elsewhere. A moment, please. I have something for you. The 88th Armor Battalion is on its way. The 301st Infantry is being rotated back to Coruscant. I can't waste a soldier like Rusk on shore leave, so I'm assigning him to you. For how long, sir? Until the Sith Empire is defeated. The Empire's defeat is sooner than you think. We won't need him. This assignment comes from General Durant. You remember him, don't you, Rusk? We survived the Geonosis campaign together. That's one way of putting it. The transfer is effective immediately. Good luck. My shuttle is small. There's hardly enough room for myself and the Medes. Perhaps Sergeant Rust should travel with you. Be honored to. Look forward to learning from a superior warrior. Excellent. I will deliver these technical readouts to Master Braga. You should contact him as well. May the Force be with you, my friends. I'll requisition my gear and meet you at your ship. I still have business here. You should come with me. Fine by me. I'm ready to thaw out. I'll just have my gear delivered to your ship then. Lead on, Master Jedi. Master Braga, Liha Nerez is on her way with the technical readouts to the Emperor's Fortress. I knew you two would be unstoppable together. I can see why you sent me. Liha isn't much of a warrior. She's one of the sharpest minds in our order. If we're to survive this war, We'll need people like her. Your successes on Hoth and Balmora have been nothing short of extraordinary. Our plan to capture the Emperor is already taking shape. Come back to Tython, my friend. We'll discuss the particulars here. Master Braga out.
Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. It seems almost impossible our plans came together this fast. You're with the best strike team in the galaxy. For us, nothing is impossible. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. The Emperor? Redeemed to the light side? Impossible. Your ally Kira was once a child of darkness. Now she's a Jedi Knight. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. Now that I've heard the plan, I have my own objections. You have a gift for irony. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar... We discussed this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during my healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. She was falling to the dark side. Becoming a Sith. You didn't tell me about this vision when he first shared it with you? The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take her on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. The Emperor's Fortress is no place for a wounded Jedi. Better me than you! That will be enough. I fear emotions have clouded judgment. I've known this Jedi since she was Master Orgus's Padawan. She has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt her loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Maybe it would be better if someone else went in my place, just to be safe. You're essential to our mission's success. I will not leave you behind. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us! I've docked inside the Emperor's Fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Should I bring everyone aboard my ship? This is no place for the unprepared. Bring only your strongest ally. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. I don't care what Master Braga wants. I'll take the Emperor's head first chance I get. Can't you feel the deaths that happened here? Others tried. 
and failed. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. You're a danger to this mission. You're confined to quarters. I'm trying to save us. We can't win! The docking base sealed shut behind us. Retreat is not an option. I'll go with you. Maybe I should stay and look after Kira. Poor kid. Look at her shaking. D7 and Sergeant Rusk will watch Kira. Come on, Doc. There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> You violate the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. The only one getting punished will be you. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. Tough talk from someone who's losing this fight. Be careful. Arrogance is a weakness freely exploited. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. I knew you weren't dead. What took you so long? We discovered a few changes to the security grid. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, let's finish this. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I knew you wouldn't come quietly. I will end you here and now. You mistake me for your own weak flesh. I do not end. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear. Let him win. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orcus, what happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. 
made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time, but you're finally free. I've been under his control for days, weeks. Time has less meaning for me than you. Long enough. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I don't need advice. Can't you just lead me out of here? The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. Aren't you even going to ask how I slept, Master? Don't be an idiot. I'm not your master. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. We're skipping straight to interrogations? I must be an advanced student. You've already proven yourself capable in combat situations. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. You're the master of torment? I thought you'd be taller. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. A tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you all right? I am now. I knew you'd come back. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We aren't leaving until I kill every Sith on the station, especially the Emperor. Are you crazy? We barely survived the last fight. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. <laughs> More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tall Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh, had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. You could have told me this on Quesh, or in your master's fortress. I needed to be sure the time had come. Now I know. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. She only broke the Emperor's will with my help. I freed myself. Regardless, my former master no longer holds any power over your minds. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. Sergeant Rusk, put a slave collar on our new friend. 
One wrong move, Sith, and we won't need a lightsaber to remove your head. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Norez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. Extinguishing all life in every star system? No one could do that. He wields power no Jedi or Sith has dreamed of. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. He didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. He served his purpose. If we need more information, it'll be easy to get from a prison cell. Leave me here, and your mission will fail. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. Even if Master Braga and the others aren't dead, they're of no use to us. If they're alive, we won't leave them in captivity. And they may possess information we need. Contact me when you reach Belsavis. And don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. Master Satil, we've arrived at Belsavis. Have you learned anything? The Empire just launched a surprise attack there. Dangerous prisoners are free from their cells to wreak havoc down on the surface. A mere diversion. The Emperor has only one true goal. The annihilation of all life on this world. If he wants to execute a bunch of sociopathic criminals, I say we let him. Jedi respect life. And not all on the world are criminals. The guards and their families live on the surface too. The destruction of Belsavis will fuel the Emperor's ritual and make him unstoppable. We do have one lead. Intelligence indicates a high-ranking Imperial named Executor Kranis recently arrived on World. Kranis is a pure-blooded Sith. Fanatically loyal to the Emperor. Whatever the plan is, he's the one tasked with carrying it out. What else can you tell me about Executor Kranis? Unlike most of Sith blood, Kranis was not born with an affinity for the Force. Despite this, he has risen quickly through the ranks of the Emperor's army. 
It would be a mistake to underestimate him. Emma Tabord, a member of our order, is already on the surface looking for Kranus. She'll help you find the Executor, but she isn't strong enough to stop him. That task falls on you. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only Jedi getting anything done. We all serve in our own way. You are our greatest warrior, and our best hope. Go to the planet's surface and meet Anna at the coordinates I'm sending you now. May the Force be with you. Whoa, hold on. You're the Jedi who was supposed to meet Enna, right? I know what this looks like, but I told her to wait for you. She wanted to go outside, scout the area. I warned her if the Imperials didn't get her, the escaped convicts would. Enna didn't listen. You're the only one with her. It doesn't look good. Well, you're a Jedi. Can't you read my thoughts? I'm telling the truth. We can't read minds. But I'll make your head explode like an overripe melon if you cross me. I'll keep that in mind. Pack Taldine. I work here. Anna heard I know Bell Savis better than anyone, and asked me to help her. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Now I just want to get out of this alive. Jedi aren't easy to kill. What happened to Anna? She crawled back from her scouting mission, wounded and barely alive. Said she escaped from an Imperial patrol. I tried to help her, but I'm not a med tech. She told me everything she learned out there, right up to her last breath. None of it was good news. Anna might have been overmatched here, but I'm a lot stronger than she was. The least I can do is tell you what you're up against. Anna told me the Imperials are entrenched by the main reactor. They were taking orders from a pure-blood Sith. They have heavy weapons and a ray shield protecting their position. Nobody's moving them from that reactor anytime soon. Why are the Imperials so determined to hold that position? The reactor controls the security gates. The Imperials are sending troops deeper into the prison and making it impossible for us to follow them. You'll never get past the Imperial shields before their heavy weapons mow you down. We need a plan. You've never seen me in action. I make my plans up as I go. You try and smash your way through, you'll die. Let's be smart about this. If you overload the energy relays feeding the sector's power grid, you could knock down that ray shield. We've got ion charges here. We could plant one at each power relay, detonate them simultaneously, and short out the Imperial defenses. Let's get one thing straight. I'm the hero. You're just a guy who needs to stay out of my way. Are you kidding? I'm not leaving this room. Wouldn't last two heartbeats out there. I can detonate those charges from here once they're all in place. Just say the word. Good luck. And watch your back. Pack, the ion charges are all in place. Take down that Sith ray shield. I read you. Detonating the ion charges... now. I cleared the way. Now comes the fun part. Taking on Sith heavy weapons. Good luck. I'll be standing by. I've been expecting you. The fool who defied the Emperor's glorious will. Do you even understand what you threw away when you turned against him? Do you realize what others would give to serve his bidding? I never thought to ask if the pure-blood Sith leading the assault team was male. Colonel Harith, Kranis's lover. If she's here, he can't be far. Silence, traitor. My words are not meant for you. Colonel Harith, status report. The reactor is offline and this area is sealed, Executor. The Jedi is here. Our distraction worked perfectly. As soon as I'm done killing Colonel Harith, you're next. You don't understand. We do not fear death, we embrace it. Soon, all life on this world will be destroyed. You, me, Kranus, all of us sacrificed for the Emperor's glory. He will become immortal, all-powerful. He will raise up all those who served with true devotion, and together, we will rule the galaxy. Oh, one nice thing about dealing with crazy cultists. No prisoners. You refuse to see the truth. I don't have to defeat you. Just slow you down. You've lost. We will meet again at the Empress's side, my love. Let death take us all. 
Let's get this up and running again. Thank you for slaying Colonel Harris. Her death at your hand has surely marked her as one of the Chosen. She will receive a place of honor when the Emperor grants us eternal life. She's not coming back to life. That doesn't happen. I may not feel the Force as you do, Jedi, but I know its power transcends death. The spirits of ancient Sith linger in their tombs. Dead Jedi Masters guide their former Paduans. I've heard the tales. I know the truth. This delay has cost you. Now you cannot stop what is to come. The Emperor's will is inevitable. Pack, come in. Executor Kranus isn't here. He's already gone deeper into the prison. Maybe we can track him using the prison surveillance systems. Let me see what I can cook up. Republic reinforcements are finally on their way to secure that generator. Head back to my position. I'll start searching for Kranis. I'm picking up lots of chatter on the comm network. Here, listen to this. Alert. Alert. This is Dr. Gantrell. Our sector is overrun. We've taken refuge inside one of the unused containment vaults. This is the only distress call we can send. Can't risk those blood skin fiends tracking our signal. Dr. Gantrell, out. Any idea which vault those people are hiding in? Dr. Gantrell and his team were working in the high security wing. Clearance way beyond my position. They all have subdermal tracking chips, so the Republic can locate them in an emergency. Dr. Gantrell must have figured we'd use the chips to find which vault they're hiding in. Sounds like that isn't an option anymore. The Imperials disabled all the monitoring stations, but if you repair them, I can pinpoint Dr. Gantrell's location. We can't afford to waste time chasing our tails. We still don't know the Imperials plan to destroy Bel Savas, but there must be a reason he's after Dr. Gantrell. Call me when you get the monitoring stations up and running. I'll use them to locate the doctor. Pack, I fixed all the monitoring stations. Locate Dr. Gantrell. On it. Scanning now. Found his tracking signal. He and his team are in an underground containment vault. Sending you the coordinates now. I hope you get there before Kranis. You're fast, but not fast enough. Executor Kranis is gone. Rayful. It's Commander Rayful now. Thank you for blessing Colonel Harith with a glorious death. If you're looking for death, I'm happy to oblige. You mock what you do not understand. Like the Emperor, we draw power from the suffering and death of others. These scientists are not hostages. They are fuel to feed us as we strike you down. If you hadn't come here, we owe you our lives. That was amazing. Outnumbered, outgunned, but those Imperials never stood a chance. Pack. How did you see that? Saw the whole fight in the security hollow. Pretty incredible. And I've seen some good fights. Just wait until I get my hands on Kranis. Then you'll see something really impressive. Kranis is what the Imperials call their leader. He took Dr. Gantrell. Took him? His tracking chip says he's right there. The Sith carved it out of the Doctor's skin and threw it in the corner. He screamed the whole time. I would have done the same thing if I didn't want my prisoner tracked. Kranis may be a fanatic, but he's no fool. You have to find Dr. Gantrell. Our project is too important to fall into enemy hands. I think you better tell me what your team's been up to. We're studying unknown alien technology in the prison's lower levels. The power core alone is astonishingly complex. Could Kranis use the power core as a weapon to destroy Belsavis? He wants to what? That, that's insane. Yes, but is it possible? If the core was breached, the resulting blast would rip Belsavis apart, but the Imperials would be killed too. All this conversation isn't going to stop Kranis. Wait, there's more. Our team created a number of advanced warfare prototypes by combining Republic and alien technology. When the Empire attacked, we hid the weapons in one of the vaults near the Republic settlement. If the prisoners find them... The only thing I care about is stopping Kranis. It's hard enough putting down this riot. 
If the prisoners have advanced weaponry, thousands could die. Those lives are meaningless. Stopping Kranis is all that matters. You're a Jedi. You can't turn your back on this. Clean it up yourselves. The Republic didn't even want the Jedi to know this prison existed. You think they had any say in it? I'll go deal with those prototypes myself. You just get to the research vault and save Dr. Gantrell. Dr. Gantrell, I presume. You arrived just in time. That beast was about to eat me alive. That thing may have scared you, but it wasn't a big deal for me. I'm glad to hear it, because we have a much larger problem. Kranus took the key to the prison's power core. He intends to destroy it. Do you have any idea what that means? Yes. He'll wipe out all life on Belsavis. It's far, far worse than that. The power core derives energy from hyperspace itself. A detonation will send shockwaves at light speed. Belsavis' destruction is only the beginning. The shockwaves will annihilate this entire system and consume the ones adjacent to it. Trillions will die! You know a lot. I don't understand why Kranis didn't kill you. He thought it would be more amusing to let the creatures down here devour me. Please don't leave me. Seal me inside of one of the empty vaults until the Republic regains control. Stopping Kranis is the only thing that matters. But you're a Jedi! You, you can't just leave me here to die! All this time you spent complaining could have been spent making your way to the vault. You're too late. The detonite charges are in place. Even you won't be able to stop them all in time. There's nowhere left to run. I'm putting an end to your madness. We're all going to die here. The difference is, I'll live again. The enemy is on a suicide mission. Take them out! For the Emperor's glory! Die and be reborn! Colonel Bartif? Raka kem you amkam nemnu. Nam gan bak umnok ki jak. Kanam jiwa nemok. Hengam yama naya angam. It would be easier if she just contacted me on my hollow. Nulilak apa jam kam gam. Amka nem nang. Ampa nem nang memua inok. Nikad aga kip nebab. Naya angam baraka ki. Colonel Bartov, I was told you wanted to see me. First, let me express my gratitude. Your actions saved many Republic soldiers. The Empire's forces were all over Belsavis when I arrived. Someone had to stop them, and your people weren't up to it. Your lack of humility aside, my people only just got here. We're doing fine, thank you. I'll make the rest of this quick. There's some confusion I need you to clear up. My forces apprehended this prisoner during the riots. I need to know why one of the galaxy's worst criminals was helping you. I could sense you were hiding something. It's true. I came here a decade ago as a prisoner, and I deserved it. I did things you don't want to know about. Being on Belsavis, surrounded by scum just like me, it opened my eyes. Even if I could never leave here, I could still change. It took years, but I did it. The Warden made me an honorary guard. Said I earned that. You kept this a secret from me. You're a liar. I'm trying to make up for the terrible things I've done. The Warden gave me that chance. So you claim. Unfortunately, we have no evidence to support your story. It's possible the records were destroyed in all the chaos. However, it's also possible you're lying. What were his crimes? Why is Pack imprisoned for life on Belsavis? 
Only the most vicious and dangerous criminals end up here. Take the worst crimes you can imagine and multiply them by a thousand. I'm not like that anymore. I helped you. Now you see my dilemma. I don't want to imprison someone who doesn't deserve it, but I don't want to set a criminal free. Criminals don't get special treatment. Lock him up with the rest of the inmates. No! Do you know what the other prisoners will do to me? You're a disgrace to the Jedi! Enough! Remove the prisoner at once! I'm sure you have business elsewhere. Thank you again for everything you did here. Master Satil, Executor Kranis and his followers are dead. Belsavis is safe. The galaxy is in your debt once again, but I fear this is far from over. The Emperor would never devote all his resources to Belsavis. We must find his other targets. There is a rumor of high-ranking Sith gathering at a remote Imperial space station, allegedly on the Emperor's orders. One of our best scouts volunteered to investigate. He's disappeared. Rumors are good bait to lure a desperate Jedi. That or the rumors are correct. Jomar Chul attempted to infiltrate the Imperial Space Station where the Sith are meeting, and hasn't checked in since. I know you and Jomar have had differences, but I believe he's onto something. After the accusations he made to the Council, I doubt he'll help me. Assuming he's alive. My only concern is uncovering the Emperor's plans. We need to know what's happening on that station. This is worth pursuing. I'm transmitting coordinates to the space station. I have no advice for getting inside. Leave that to me. May the Force be with you. This is Station Korriban's flame to unidentified vessel. You have violated Imperial space. Submit your security clearance or be destroyed. Stand down, you ignorant fool. I'm here on the Emperor's orders. Transmitting clearance code now. Stand by while I... Um... We're so pleased you're here, Grand Moth. You'll find our security airtight. That is unlikely. I've, uh, cleared a docking bay for you. Please proceed with your landing, sir. For the moment, they believe I am Grand Moth Fresh. But this ruse will not hold. Prepare to kill everyone. Haven't you noticed? I don't leave survivors. Your most admirable quality. Don't waste any time. Destroy the enemy while we have the elements of surprise. Right on time. You're practically a droid. I knew if I applied the right stimulus, you couldn't resist coming here. Something's wrong with Leha. She's not herself. She tricked me. Jomar was chasing proof you'd fall into the dark side. He fell into my trap like a greedy child. You were just as easy. I came to kill high-ranking Sith, but I'll settle for you. Back down while you still can. Please, don't hurt her! She doesn't know what she's doing! Poor boy. You think you love me. But what we shared in secret on Tython was only a shadow of true passion. I'll show you true ecstasy, Jomar. But first things first. Attack me and die. It's that simple. You remember the Medes? I gave my little droid friends a few upgrades I think you'll enjoy. Briefly. Stop! 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 I... Where... Where are we? Leha, it's me. You're going to be alright. My poor droids. How did we get here? You and the Emperor set this trap. Why? I can feel the Emperor's presence. I... He hates you. The things he made me do. Come home to Tython. Master Satil will help you. I have no right to ask you for anything, but... The Council doesn't need to know about us. Please, keep our relationship to yourself. Not only are you a hypocrite, but now you're begging for favors. Considering all the trouble you've caused, the least you can do is offer a little compensation. You're right. I have something back on Tython that I can send you. My mission wasn't a total failure. I overheard Liha delivering orders from the Emperor to a high-ranking Sith Lord. I couldn't hear details, but I know someone named Lord Fulminus went on a secret mission to the planet Voss. We should head for Voss, too. 
I'll take Liha home. Thank you for saving her. Us. Master Satil, I rescued Jomar and found Liha Nerez. She's been under the Emperor's control and needs your help. They're headed for Tython now. I also learned a high-ranking Sith named Fulminus is on the planet Voss. That is disturbing news. Voss was discovered only recently. Its society is dangerously unbalanced. The people worship an elite group of Force users who rule with absolute authority. Despite our best efforts, Voss's government rejects the Jedi Code. The Emperor has always taken a great interest in that world. I thought he sought to conquer it, but clearly he intends its destruction. Go to Voss. Find Lord Fulminus and stop his plans. This is Jomar Chul. I appreciate you keeping my relationship with Leha a secret. It's allowed me to help her recover. I sent you something I found once during a scouting mission through Imperial territory. It is the most valuable thing I possess. Keep it. Jomar Chul out. We're in orbit around Voss, Master Satil. Be wary when you reach the surface. Voss is a strange world under the absolute control of a group of powerful Force users called the Mystics. The Mystics reject the idea that the Force has both a light and dark side. They claim to follow a neutral path, both in their politics and the Force. Despite their claims, I fear the Mystics have more in common with the Sith than with us. Are you saying the Voss are servants of the dark side? The Mystics use the visions given to them by the Force to control the lives of ordinary citizens. Like the Sith, they use their power to dominate others. The Mystics are prophets who shape the direction of Voss society. The Emperor wants to wipe out all life in the galaxy. Hardly the same thing. The Dark Side is subtle and insidious, as you well know. The Emperor did not begin his conquest of the galaxy by declaring his true intentions. Just because the Mystics don't follow the Jedi Code doesn't make them evil. Don't let the views of your companion corrupt what the Order has taught you. A Jedi does not compromise. In any case, the Mystics are not your primary concern. We haven't uncovered the Emperor's plan to destroy Voss yet, but he recently dispatched a Sith Lord named Fulminus to this system. Lord Fulminus created the Harrowers you face in the Emperor's Fortress. Be wary. I don't care what kind of creatures he surrounds himself with. When I find him, he's dead. Your bloodlust is unsettling. You must try to control your emotions, especially when working with the former Emperor's wrath. We know Fulminus is somewhere on Voss. He's communicating with the Emperor through an encrypted communications relay. We've detected several signal scramblers outside the planet's capital city of Voss Ka. Disable them, and we can track the comm signal to his location. Fulminus wouldn't just leave those scramblers undefended. The signal scramblers were hidden deep inside the savage Voss wilderness. Reaching them will be dangerous, even for a Jedi. If you act quickly, you should be able to disable all the scramblers before Fulminus knows what's happening. Then we can find him. May the Force be with you. That's the last scrambler. Now to get a fix on that signal. Signals originating from a nearby cave. Fulminus must be inside. I recommend an immediate frontal assault. Catch the enemy unprepared. Outsider, why are you here? I'm not going to answer your questions. You do not trust me. This will not help. I am Tala Ray. You wear Jedi garb. Sith sworn enemy. We want none of your war. I search for Fulminus. Do not interfere. If I don't find Fulminus, all of Voss will be destroyed. You are Jedi, he is Sith. Say anything to turn the Voss against him. I seek Valen Da. He is a powerful mystic. I am sworn to protect him. Three days ago, Valen Da left the mystic temple with Lord Fulminus. Neither have been seen since. Did Lord Fulminus take Valen Da hostage? Jedi prejudice. Valen Da left the temple willingly. You wish violence upon Lord Fulminus. The Sith seek to wipe out all life on this planet. You and your people are dead if I don't stop Fulminus. Your actions may harm Valen Da. That must not be. Leave. No! Get back, you foul monsters! You want to peel the flesh from our bones! That's right. I'll skin you alive if you don't tell me where to find your master. The beasts want to feast in our innards. Kill them before they chew out our guts. Ah! 
Hold us monsters, mad with terror. Lord Fulminus must have done something to destroy their minds. He may not be to blame. Many who enter the wilds go mad. Here, a hollow recorder. Welcome back, Lord Fulminus. The ritual preparations are complete. Is this boss going to be our first test subject? Valandar is still useful to me. The same cannot be said of you. No! Please don't! Ah, ah! The monsters! I can see them! They're everywhere! They're all around me! No! No! Fulminus destroyed the minds of his own apprentices. Now do you understand why he has to be stopped? There is more. We're done here. Take me to the Shrine of Healing. The journey is long. We must go now. Valandos saw what Fulminus is capable of, and he's still willing to help him. Mystics are beyond reproach. Fulminus is dangerous. We must work together. First you ordered me to leave. Now you want to team up? The situation changed. The Shrine of Healing is sacred, a place of ancient power. Fulminus can cause great harm there. The journey to the Shrine is arduous. I will make preparations. Here, the location of my supply camp. Meet me there. We will continue our mission. I'm here. Ready to enter the Shrine of Healing and stop Lord Fulminus? I cannot. The Shrine is forbidden to me. Make the pilgrimage alone. The Guardians will open the Shrine. I thought you were sworn to protect your mystic. Now you're going to sit by and do nothing? Only the Chosen can make the pilgrimage. The mystics have decreed it. I must wait here. You can't let a law handed down by some mystics centuries ago stop you from doing your duty. We obey the mystics. You can't just let others control your life like that. The mystics are never wrong. We've seen what kind of man Lord Fulminus is. Surely you don't think Valenda is right to help him. The mystic is always right. We will speak when you return from the shrine. Outsider. The mystic Valenda told us you would come. You may enter the inner sanctum of the shrine. I knew all that time I wasted on the pilgrimage would cost me. The pilgrimage prepared you to enter the shrine. The mystic hasn't left yet, has he? I did not see him leave. Enter. Monsters! Demons! Nightmare creatures come to feed on our flesh! And your slaughter. We will not harm you. Who are you? Ancient mystics of Vos, bound to the Shrine for eternity. Wisdom endures through us. We taught Fulminus the healing ritual. He perverted it. Corrupts it, it rips open the mind. Violence and slaughter are unleashed. Can't you sense the darkness in Fulminus? Couldn't you see he was going to use this knowledge against you? We were bound to help him. It was decreed by the mystic. A mystic is never wrong. Valendar left a message in the corner. How come this hollow won't activate? Take it to Talaray. What's with all the clues? Is the mystic playing some sort of game? Our task is done. Outsider, I am Commander Frucken Nall. Tala Ray told me your mission. It's worse than we thought. Fulminus used a Sith ritual to drive his apprentices insane. At the shrine, he learned a technique to make it even more powerful. This is known. We have reports. You killed the priests at the Shrine of Healing. Valandon knew I would be at the temple. Their blood is on his hands. The mystics are guided by visions. There is a purpose. We do not blame you. You walk the path of Valandar's vision. You may believe everything is predestined, but I don't. Denial is not truth. In time, all will be clear. 
I don't put much faith in your mystics, but Valendar did leave a message. It's coded so only you can play it. Outsider, your mission is done. Go now. Wait, she helped us. We may need help again. Talaray, know my vision. Lord Fulminus in a dark cave. Strange symbols adorn the walls. A corrupted ritual unleashes a plague of madness that drowns moss in blood. You and the Jedi stand with us. Against him. Meet us in the Nightmare Lands, the Dark Heart. Do you know this place he's talking about? The center of the Nightmare Lands. A legendary place of danger and evil. The Dark Heart is hidden. We have no maps, and the Voss shun the Nightmare Lands. The Gormak know the Nightmare Lands. The Gormak King has maps. I was just thinking I was in the mood to kill something. Scouts, watch the Gormak. I will speak with them. Wait here, outsider. Frack and Null is right to be cautious. Gormak are dangerous. They killed my husband. He wasn't much of a soldier then. He was a great warrior. He sacrificed himself to serve the will of the mystics. I'd like to hear how he died. Valendar had a vision. He sent my husband to Gormakos, alone. There he met his fate. He challenged the Gormak king to a duel. The king refused. A hundred Gormak warriors fell on him. Twenty died before he fell. The king sent my husband's head back to Voska, just as Valendar foresaw. Why would someone throw his life away like that? His death was honored in song. Poems were written, many were inspired. The commando ranks swelled. I enlisted. Now I protect Valendar. Enough stories of your dead husband. We need to focus on stopping Fulminus, remember? I understand. My husband is of the past. Halare, outsider. I have spoken with the scouts. The maps are in the King's Vault at Gormakos. The vault is unassailable. An army of Gormak protect it. Commandos entering Gormak territory would draw them away, thin their numbers. I don't care how many Gormak are in my way. I'm going to get those maps. Alone, you will fail. Valendar has decreed you must go to the Dark Heart. I must heed his words. Talaray will lead a squad of commandos against the Gormak. You will infiltrate the King's Vault at Gormakas. You better not screw this up. I will assemble the squad. Talaray, explain the details. The Vault is protected by an impregnable shield. Shield generators are scattered through Gormakas. Find all the generators protecting the King's Vault. Destroy them. We will speak when it is done. I've destroyed all the generators. The shields around the King's Vault are down. We suffered many casualties. We will occupy the Gormak as long as possible. I don't care how many people you lose. Keep fighting. We will battle until the end. Get the maps. Rendezvous at the Voss camp on the border of the Nightmare Lands. Did your master send you to stop me from looting his vault? Vlatan van dal, dat rad vi ban lagron. Ne so fun de kon da neva e at nan ni matan. La du si no fut kom, ni go wa bon ge aroi. Kon ta sa vo fat ban kap. Tell me more about your true master. No wa da grosai. Wale kon patron de dai tupa. Wa vaska pan ki na kon kam tron wan blau de chao trocha. La tu si no fut kom ni go wa bon ge aroi. Kon ta sa vo fat ban kap. I have the maps. These should help us find the dark heart so we can stop Lord Fulminus. My squad was slaughtered. It is good their sacrifice was not in vain. The rest of your squad gave their lives, but you retreated. Valen Da's vision saw us standing together. My fate is to live, theirs to die, like my husband. You are female, an outsider. Yet you remind me of him, a great warrior, an instrument of mystic will. Behold, 
the patron of glory. Eyes afire with righteous might. Skin bathed in the warm blood of the enemy. Witness the glory and blazing fury. Although you didn't see me fighting the Gormak, you've captured it quite nicely. This verse honors my husband. Many songs were written celebrating his death. Will they write a song about me if I live? We remember those who are worthy. The maps reveal the location described in Valendar's vision. We confront Lord Fulminus there. The Dark Heart crawls with predators. We split up. Small groups draw less attention. A creature at the Gormak Vault spoke to me. It said it was created in the Dark Heart by a being called Selma Kor. I do not know the name. Valendar made no mention of this entity. Selma Kor is not our concern. I will mark the chamber on your map. Meet there. Valendar has foreseen it. They are here. Who? What are you talking about? Ah, the Jedi who defied the Emperor. I'm surprised to see you here. Valen Da told me where to find you. Where is Talare? She is part of my vision, too. I am here, Honored One. Mystic, rent his flesh, kill them all, complete the ritual, unleash the plague. So you're the entity that lives in the Dark Heart. Why don't you show yourself? Selmako has no physical form. Power is channeled through avatars and minions. I don't know what kind of game you've been playing, Mystic. But after I dispatch these interlopers, I'll deal with you. For the Emperor! Outsider, a victory well earned. My vision nears completion. Way to stand off in the corner during the battle. Thanks a lot. Forgive her tone, Honored One. She does not understand our ways. Explanation is warranted. Fulminus corrupted the healing ritual, created a madness plague, planned to infect all Voss. Billions die savage, brutal deaths. Slaughter consumes the entire planet. Needed Selmakur's aid. Is he some kind of spirit or something? I dreamt of the Dark Heart. Secrets revealed. The core is alive, intelligent, a being of pure evil. Will without a body. Selmakor. Unchecked, corruption will spread beyond the Nightmare Lands. Selmakor must be destroyed. If not, Voss will be consumed. I accompanied Fulminus so Tala Ray would follow. Only she can destroy Selmakor. Fool, Selmakor is death. Darkness, no force can destroy. If anyone has the power to destroy Selmakor, it's me. Your part is done. Claim the maps from Gormakas. Defeated Fulminus. Talaray would not be here without you. Honored one, tell me what I must do. Descend the steps into the maw of Selmakor. Confront the evil within. Destroy it. Cleanse Voss. You will not survive. Sacrifice will herald a millennium of peace between Voss and Gormak. Thus is my vision fulfilled. You heard the mystic, Talare. Into the Maw. This is my destiny. My actions will save all of Voss. Ooh, violation. Defilement. Extinction. This must not be. Dead I cast the mystic into the Maw. Rewards. Power. Selmakor offers them to you. Like the one who came before. That's an interesting offer. No! 
We must honor Valen Da's vision. I will enter the Maw. The mystics are never wrong. Guess there's always a first time. I saved you. I gave you Valenda. Where's my reward? Did I offer it mystic? So my court promised power. Reward given. Corruption spreads. Boss Gormag twisted. Broken. Servants of Selmacor. My domain. My world. Go. Leave. Never return. I think you might have picked the wrong side on this one. I came here to stop Fulminus from completing the Emperor's ritual. Who cares if this thing eventually corrupts this entire world? <laughs> Master Satil, I stopped Lord Fulminus. He created a madness-inducing plague to turn this planet's inhabitants against each other. If he'd succeeded, Voss would have exploded into mindless violence. The entire planet would be a slaughterhouse. The brutality of the Sith knows no bounds. I applaud you for a job well done. I know it wasn't easy dealing with the Voss people. The entire planet has been brainwashed by the mystics. The Voss can't scratch their own noses without consulting their all-powerful rulers. The Voss show us what happens when the power of the Force is abused. Our Order may have to take action against the Mystics. Right now, however, we have more pressing concerns. One of our missing Jedi has resurfaced, and the news isn't good. Warren Sidoru has attacked and boarded the Republic flagship Valiant. How did an old pacifist Jedi invade a battle cruiser? Warren's gift for infiltration is unmatched. And he's backed by Imperial Commandos. The Valiant is commanded by Admiral Dabrin, one of our top military leaders. He's inflicted heavy casualties on Imperial forces. Admiral Dabrin possesses complete knowledge of the Republic's war plans. If the Imperial military gains that information, they'll crush us. You're missing the point. The fallen Jedi serves the Emperor's agenda. We must learn his mission. We found Leha and Warren, but no sign of Master Braga. Maybe Warren knows where to find him. Not everything missing should be found. The Valiant is drifting out of control at these coordinates. Liberate it, save the Admiral, and learn the Emperor's plans. Hurry, the Valiant's crew can't hold out much longer. Another step, and the Admiral dies. What happens to me doesn't matter. He's going to destroy us all. Kill him! How can he destroy us all? It's only one ship. He did something to my mind. Made me reveal the security codes for our entire fleet. This flagship belongs to the Empire. Stay, and the Admiral's blood will be on your hands. If he has to die so I can stop you, so be it. You struggle against your restraints, yet you continue to serve the Jedi. Pathetic. Youth won't save you. My master gave me all the strength I need to finish this. Why do you insist on being a slave? With your power, you could do, be anything. You could rule worlds, crush all enemies, have any man you want. How's the dark side working out for you, Warren? We both know how this ends. You'll send me back to Tython to be redeemed. Eventually, I'll escape. I've tasted real power. I'll never return to the Jedi. This war is nearly over. 
Master Braga will lead the Empire to victory on Corellia. Billions will die. You just told me how to stop the Emperor. Either you want that, or you're lying. Maybe the Emperor's hold isn't as strong as it looks. Why would I be afraid to tell you that you've already failed? Corellia will fall, and the Republic with it. The knowledge in this man's head could destroy the Republic. He's a traitor. We can't let him live. That other Jedi snapped out of it, eventually. Maybe he will too. We can't risk him escaping and telling the enemy what he knows. There's only one way to be sure that doesn't happen. This is war. We can't afford to be sentimental. Goodbye. I'm glad to see the Jedi are willing to clean up their own messes. If this information about Corellia is true, our forces are in danger. We'd better mobilize everything we have. I'll alert High Command. You inform your council. Good luck. Admiral Dabrin and his flagship are safe, Master. The dark side had consumed Warren. He refused to surrender. He's dead. I know killing a former ally must have been difficult. Warren revealed Master Braga is on Corellia. He's the Emperor's secret weapon in the war there. The Republic is sending everything it has to liberate Corellia. If Master Braga is aiding the enemy... The Emperor has no interest in keeping Corellia. He desires the deaths of billions to fuel his ritual. Find Master Braga and stop this madness. Set course for Corellia immediately. Master, I've landed on Corellia. From what I saw flying in, the fighting here is intense. Corellia is in a state of total war. The Republic and Empire aren't holding back anything. The losses are staggering, and not just military. Thousands of civilians die every hour. And each death brings the Emperor closer to his goal. Which is why we cannot retreat. If the Republic pulls back, the Empire will exterminate every being here. Good luck. This planet's population numbers in the billions. The Imperial War Machine is efficient. They'd need a week, at most. Master Tall Braga is aiding the enemy. He knows how to hurt us, block our efforts to save this world. Removing Master Braga from the Emperor's control is the key to victory. After my experience with War and Sidoru, I don't have much hope for Master Braga. Hope is all we have now. The alternative is death. Only a handful of Jedi remain alive on Corellia. I'm sending reinforcements from the Outer Rim, but they're inexperienced. We need strong leadership to win this battle. I'm naming you Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces on Corellia. I wouldn't trust anyone else with the job. Shock troops. Excellent. They will make finding your enemy easier. Corellia must not fall. Your mission is twofold. Direct our forces to aid the Republic military's efforts, and personally find Master Braga. Until reinforcements arrive, rally those few Jedi already on the surface. My contact, Captain Rick Dean, will help you locate them. I'm sending his coordinates. May the Force be with you. I want those shield generators online yesterday. Move it, Privates! Captain Richting? Master Satil Shan sent me. I'm the new Jedi Commander. You made it. Thank the skies. The Empire controls so much of Corellia we can barely establish a landing zone. The enemy has us under constant bombardment. We're in a blasted bottleneck. Sounds like our first order of business is knocking a hole in the Empire's forward lines. You'll want to speak with Corporal Hartke about that. My job is to organize your forces. The shuttles bringing your reinforcements will arrive shortly. In the meantime, you should gather the few already here. I have coordinates to the last known locations of your fellow Jedi. That's the best I can offer. I should know better than to expect anything useful from you people. Between the bombardment and the enemy patrols, it's chaos out there. We're doing the best we can. This location is the rallying point for your forces. As the reinforcements arrive, they'll come here. Take the intel on the Jedi you're looking for. I hope you find them.
Watuma the water down we want to walk over Jakamuka. I don't want to overkill you water bunker. Don't go put on the water. I get the feeling we've met before. Just a colli raka kanchanga. Bomba kunchinka. Mokili mukunti ne ata. Bomba bo shunda. Nira disa slim o crispa. The kanki kong kikopa. This is twice I've pulled your hide out of the fire. Don't count on a third. I'm taking charge of all Jedi forces. We're rallying reinforcements at these coordinates. Go. Never told me you were so famous. Beautiful. You're one of the only Jedi left on Corellia. Who are you? Umuhata Jen Kwanga, Mwego Bek Bahako. Nakakawana Habala, Yakahupata Ze Jesure Hapaba. The Jedi Council appointed me Supreme Commander here. Jedi reinforcements are gathering at these coordinates. On your way. Yeah, me too. Can't fight with a dry mouth. There aren't many Jedi left on Corellia. What's your name? All Jedi forces serve under me. Reinforcements are gathering at these coordinates. Go, and wait for my return. He's a regular ray of sunshine. Sata atenger altala ismert es. Thank you, my friend. Those assassins were highly persistent. Before they attacked, the Sith showed me a hollow of Master Braga. He ordered them to kill me. How did he sound? Was there any trace of his true self? It seemed like him. But that cold-blooded killer couldn't be my old friend. Master Satil appointed me Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces here. You should meet our reinforcements at these coordinates. I fear I'm not much of a soldier. I've never truly recovered from what happened on Tatooine. I've barely managed to survive so far. Perhaps my talents are better applied elsewhere. Don't worry, my friend here would never send an old lady into a war zone, right? I could focus on evacuating the wounded to the medical transports. We're facing the total destruction of Corellia. Only the combined forces of every Jedi on this world can stop that. I'll serve you to the best of my abilities. May the Force be with us. I'll see you at the rendezvous. All Jedi reinforcements are present and accounted for. General Var Suthra is requesting you on a priority channel. Patching him through now. Hello, my old friend. I understand you're Supreme Commander of the Jedi Forces here. Why? Were you hoping to be in charge? Commanding regular troops is hard enough. Wouldn't dream of ordering Jedi around. Master Satil has informed me you're looking for a Jedi Master helping the enemy. I'm placing my resources at your disposal. I have a base camp in Labor Valley. Bring your people to my position. You go on ahead. I will guide our forces there. I'll see you soon, my friend. Var Sutra, out. General, my forces are on the way. Glad to hear it. An agent with SIS is bringing us the latest intel on Master Tal Braga. In the meantime, we should form a battle plan to drive the Empire from this sector. It's running riot here. 
Magrem Thrakus is one of the chief suppliers of the Republic's war effort. She owns half the facilities in Labor Valley. The Empire appropriated my weapon factories. They're stealing billions of credits worth of firepower. Should be easy to defend a munitions plant from hostile takeover. Everything you need is there. I manufacture weapons, not soldiers. I recommend devoting all Jedi forces to removing the enemy from those weapon factories. We certainly need munitions more than the Empire. That's a priority signal from the Supreme Chancellor. Excuse me. There is more to this than weapons, you know. The Empire also seized my company's base of operations. I want it back. If you were to allegate forces towards liberating my corporate offices, I'd be extremely grateful. And I do mean personally. Why would the Empire raid your corporate offices? I've never trusted Corellia's banking system. I convert all my company's monetary reserves into precious resources. Many are hidden beneath the offices. The Empire hasn't found my resources yet, but given enough time, they will. There's no telling what they could do with all that wealth. I run a multi-trillion credit corporation. If you help me, you won't be disappointed with your reward. Everyone is here and ready to face the enemy on your command. May the Force be with us. Master Kowix, I haven't seen you since Coruscant. That's an impressive bunch you've brought. If we're going to retake those weapon factories, your people need to go now. New information has come to light, General. I believe Thrakus's corporate offices is the more important objective. I'm sending all forces there. I don't understand. That office building has no strategic value. If I have my company, I can build more weapons. It's business, General. I will communicate your orders to the others. General Varsuthra, we've learned the Jedi traitor Tol Braga has sent a strike team to destroy Labor Valley. If I can get to Master Braga, I'll end these threats for good. Where is he? We're tracing his holo messages, but there's too much chaos on the comm frequencies to get his location. The Sith have invaded a chemical refinery to create an improvised bomb. The explosion will release a massive toxic cloud. That cloud will kill everyone here and drift into the adjacent sectors, potentially millions of fatalities. A weapon that indiscriminately kills friend and foe alike. The Sith are on a suicide mission. I'd rather put them out of our misery personally. How do we do that? We still don't know which chemical refinery the Sith have, but we do know which chemicals they're gathering. Shutting down all the chemical pipelines feeding the refineries won't stop the Sith. However, it will give away their location. Contact me when it's done. May the Force be with you all. General, I've shut down the chemical pipelines. Stand by. Agent Helver is collating the data. Did you run into much trouble out there? Is asking stupid questions one of your core competencies, General? Forgot how irritable you can be. Hang on, we're getting something. One of the chemical plants was siphoning Accelerite. We found our Sith bomb makers. I'm sending the coordinates to you and your strike team now. They'll meet you inside. Hurry! I'll get us through this door. Hang on. We got company! General, the chemical plant is ours. The Sith never finished their bomb. After all our time together, I never expected anything less. I wish your Jedi army was so successful. They took back Thrakus's corporate headquarters, but the enemy looted all her weapon factories. The Empire is now better armed. Plus, you lost a full Jedi squad on this mission. I expected we'd lose people, but not so quickly. What happened? From what I hear, that headquarters was a maze. Your Jedi split up and wandered into an ambush. Republic forces have just engaged the Empire in the Axial Park sector. The fighting is heavy, and SIS reports plenty of Sith activity. Maybe we'll find your missing Jedi there. Worth a shot. I already have people in Axial Park at these coordinates. I'll alert the other Jedi to meet you there. Varsuthra, out. Your forces perform splendidly. 
They drove the Empire from my headquarters before it could loot any precious resources. I trust you'll find my gratitude as generous as promised. Farewell. There shouldn't be any argument. The Republic is here to save the people of Corellia. Period. We're here to win a war, Senator. What good is saving lives if we lose the blasted planet? There will always be casualties in war. We have to pick our targets carefully. The Jedi Supreme Commander understands what's at stake much better than you. The Empire sent extermination patrols to our medical evacuation sites. Those murdering scum slaughtered our wounded. Now the Empire's rewarding the killers with parties and medals. They're celebrating in plain sight. Taunting us before they're shipped back home. We need to strike back before that filth leaves Corellia. Put some fear in the Empire. I won't make any decisions without hearing the Senator's request. Thousands of Corellian citizens are being kidnapped and forced to serve the Empire. We have to free them. Those citizens are being kidnapped from your prisons. They're criminals. No. They're in custody awaiting trial. They are innocent until proven guilty, and we cannot abandon them to the enemy. Which mission would make the best use of our people? Supreme Commander, we've received advanced combat gear from Balmora. If you commit men to my cause, we'll equip you to better face the enemy. That's outrageous. You're attempting to bribe this Jedi. That is insulting and incorrect, Senator. I'm adding to the Supreme Commander's knowledge. The final decision is hers. I was already planning to commit all my forces to your mission, Colonel, but I accept your offer. I can't believe you! I'm filing a complaint to the Supreme Chancellor. I have coordinates to the Imperial camps where the extermination squads are celebrating. Let's shut those parties down. Wish I could get surveillance hollows to record this. It'd boost morale. Our science advisor is waiting for you. He has information on that rogue Jedi you're after. Haven't seen you since Darth Angrel became a cloud of random molecules. Glad you joined the festivities. This gathering is long overdue. Dr. Godera, this is a war zone. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Honestly, who is going to target a science museum? Besides, the General's best men are guarding me. My probe droids have been hunting for your Master Braga. They've found enemy activity in two buildings bordering Axial Park. Teams of Sith under Master Braga's command are setting up turbo lasers in the building's topmost floors. They're camouflaging the weapons from view. Send artillery to level those structures. Threat eliminated. I admire your plan's simplicity, but both buildings contain thousands of civilian inhabitants. The turbo lasers are codenamed Firestorm, an adaptation of the technology from Darth Angrel's superweapon. Lethal and focused. Those turbo lasers will make Axial Park a literal inferno. There would be no survivors. The Emperor wants to inflict maximum fatalities here. We need to take out those weapons fast. Demolitions and transport have been secured. All we need is a small commando group. I'm told you can provide that. Just like old times. The Republic finds a problem, and I have to go fix it. Doing it the opposite way never seems to work out. Republic military transports can't get off the ground here, but there's an Imperial assault shuttle on display at a starship museum nearby. The enemy doesn't know the Corellians have it. They'll mistake the assault shuttle for one of their own. You'll fly directly to your targets. After we hit the first turbo laser, the enemy will be on to us. They'll start gunning for our transport. I never said the plan was foolproof. You're a Jedi. Fly recklessly. One last thing. I've modified some proton torpedoes into explosive charges. Drop one down a turbo laser's barrel and you'll fuse it shut. Weapon neutralized. Get to the shuttle. Stop the Sith before they turn this park into a giant cookout. Good luck. I need to know something. Do you think you're making a difference? You had more courage as a Jedi. 
Enough talking. Come out and face me. This isn't another of your pointless duels. I don't have time to fight you. None of your victories matter. You're a desperate insect clinging to a burning leaf. In the end, the Emperor wins. This fallen galaxy will be consumed. Purity will be restored. The Emperor doesn't care about purification. He wants to destroy this galaxy. You can't see they are the same thing. One way or another, Corellia dies in flames. And we will all burn together. Wow. He really knows how to bring down a room. Let's head back to the Science Museum. See if that crazy doctor can help us find this guy. Dr. Godera, the Sith killed him. Damn them! I'll burn his name into every enemy I kill here. I know he'd appreciate the gesture. All enemies accounted for, General. I found Dr. Godera's work. Looks important. He was tracking Master Braga's hollow transmissions. He found signals coming from an Imperial battlecruiser hovering above Capitol Square. Why would the Empire bring a warship down to the planet's surface? We assumed it was to intimidate us. Maybe it's something worse. Republic troops established a small forward base in the government district. Gather your people and meet me there. Your Jedi troops caught the Imperials off guard. Wiped out every one of those murdering scum. You lost a squad in the battle, but they went down fighting. Their sacrifice meant something. Thanks for doing the right thing. I found you some top-of-the-line advanced combat gear. I'm a little underwhelmed, Colonel. Well, they were all out of heavy artillery walkers. Best I could do. I'll transmit the coordinates of our forward base to all your people and have them meet you there. Good luck! We're at the point of no return, my friend. Win or lose, this is where we'll make our stand. Eris Wyam is with Corellian Intelligence. He's just learned our job here is even harder than we thought. My reconnaissance teams just picked up an energy surge coming from the reactors on that Imperial battlecruiser. We believe the cruiser's reactors are being overloaded, building to detonation. We've stopped his other plans. A suicide attack is the only option that idiot has left. If Master Braga wants to destroy his own ship, why not crash it into the surface? A reactor detonation at its present altitude won't just flatten this sector. The radiation release will kill people for hundreds of kilometers. Good news is there's a secure turbo lift connecting the cruiser to the government buildings. They use it to send troops there. Your strike team will use that to get inside the cruiser, shut down those reactors, and deal with Master Braga. Can't wait to see their faces when I arrive with all my friends. You can't take the enemy by surprise with an army of Jedi. But don't worry, your people will have plenty to do. I'm commanding a platoon of Republic troops, with your Jedi squads backing us. We'll hit enemy command and control centers all over this area. We'll keep the enemy's attention off your strike team and retake Capitol Square for the Republic. I wish there were more Jedi for this mission. It would improve your odds of success. It's rare to see a general charging into battle. None of us can afford to play it safe. This is all or nothing. This is it, friends. May the Force be with us. Is it too late to go back to Balmora? You slipped past the ray shield. That's unfortunate, but you won't win. For the Emperor to succeed, the people of Corellia must die. Only then can this ruined galaxy be redeemed. The Emperor has filled your head with lies. Death is not redemption. You know better. There is no redemption through peace. The Emperor showed me the truth. This galaxy isn't worth saving. Every being, every creature is weak and useless. All except him. The Emperor is strong, perfect, transcending both Sith and Jedi. He will cleanse the stars of our impurity. I thought the Emperor was controlling your mind. But you want to do this. The Emperor's thoughts were with me for a long time, but I broke free. And when I did, my eyes were open. I have seen such horrors that these things are allowed to exist. It has to end. Here. Now.
General Varsuthra, I've shut down the cruiser's reactors. I repeat, the battle cruiser is under my control. Understood. I'll send troops to secure the vessel and hold it for the Republic. Fighting down here is bad. I may not be able to... Do you really think you've won? You only prolong the galaxy's suffering. In the end, no one is saved. This battle will be fought forever. Nothing I do matters. Every choice matters. You chose to become Sith, and people suffered because of it. I wanted it all to end. No Sith. No Jedi. No war. You've stopped his plans for now. But the Emperor is patient. He will try again and again until he wins. That guy really needs a new hobby. Like fishing. Or being dead. The Emperor is on Droman Kass. Go to him. You will see how pointless our struggles have been. The Imperial capital is a big planet. Where exactly will I find the Emperor? I will give you the Emperor's coordinates. Even in his weakened state, you are no match for him. I tire of this horrible existence. My life has been a failure. End it. You will use the Emperor's power to hunt down the Sith. You will become my assassin. I will use the Emperor's power to hunt down the Sith. I will become your assassin. I feel... reborn. I have a purpose. Whoa, really? Ah, uh, I mean, great. Just keep that hocus pocus away from me. Here, take this. You'll need every advantage when you face the Emperor. I'm going. May the Force be with you. Let me get this straight. Not only did you save millions of lives, but you and your strike team seized an Imperial battle cruiser? Well, doesn't sound any less incredible when I say it out loud. The rogue Jedi you were after. Did you catch him? The General should be here. What's his status? I wish I had good news, but the General's mission was not successful. He didn't have the forces he needed. They put up a good fight, but the enemy had superior numbers. There were no survivors. It could have been worse. We could all be dead. I suppose when you look at it that way. There's still plenty of fighting to be done. The Empire is down, but it's already regrouping. I'd ask you to stay, but I get the feeling you've already got one foot out the door. Good luck. Master Satil, my mission on Corellia is complete. Republic forces have gained the upper hand, and Master Braga is no longer aiding the enemy. I managed to break the Emperor's domination of him. Master Braga is now sabotaging Imperial forces from within. I worry for him. I hope he returns here soon. I've also learned the Emperor is on Dromund Kos. His efforts against us have weakened him. Our enemy is vulnerable. For now. The Emperor is determined to destroy the galaxy. It's him, or us. You must face the Emperor again. And this time, you cannot fail. The Council should join me. At the very least, you should come. The risk is too great. You're the only Jedi who resisted his corrupting influence. Others might fall to the dark side. Dromund Kass is the Imperial capital. Legions of Sith call it home. The remaining population is almost entirely Imperial military. We're invading a planet of people who want us dead. We'll have to fight for every centimeter of ground. For once, I won't have to worry about civilian casualties. There are no civilians where we're going. Everyone you meet will be armed and will try to kill you. We must surprise the Empire by doing what they least expect. A frontal assault on their homeworld. Jedi and Republic warships will converge on Dromund Kos and will engage the Imperial fleet. We will mass your assault on the surface. The real fight will be on the planet. Can you spare anyone for that? We'll attract less attention without your forces stirring up the Imperial army. 
I will help you navigate the planet's defense network and land safely. After that, no promises. Your success or failure will not merely decide the galaxy's fate. It will change everything, forever. Find the Emperor, and stop him once and for all. May the Force be with you. We've landed on Dromund Kaas. Any sign we've been detected? Good for us, but the Republic fleet's getting blown to bits up there. We need to wrap this up fast. I examined the coordinates Tolbraga gave you. The Emperor has gone to an ancient temple deep in the jungle. Access is highly restricted. What do you know about this ancient temple? The Emperor built it. He imprisoned his enemies there for many centuries. It is a place of vast, dark power. One of the Emperor's private shuttles is not far from here. It has full security clearance to enter the temple. Great. Now all we have to do is fight through a city full of bad guys trying to kill us. Moving as a single unit will give away our objective. We could pair off and follow separate routes to the shuttle. Shouldn't we leave someone guarding the ship in case the enemy comes? If the Imperial forces find the ship unguarded, they will leave a token security force. We can easily dispatch it when we return. You all have the shuttle's coordinates. I recommend no one be late arriving there. I will fly us to the Emperor's temple, but you must face him alone. No one else can resist his direct influence. We will provide support and destroy the Emperor's guards. The droid can use the temple's network to coordinate our efforts. Wouldn't it be easier to clear my path by running in front of me? The temple has many defenders. We must keep those forces from concentrating on a single target. Every one of us is expendable. If the galaxy is to survive, the Emperor must fall. You are all on your own. Succeed or fail, no one is coming to save you. Speak for yourself. If anyone needs help, I'll be there. Unless it's you, of course. Don't be foolish. We have surprised the Emperor, but he will recover quickly. We cannot grant him time to gather his power. Let him prepare all he wants. Ready or not, I'll destroy him. My vision of this moment never revealed the outcome of your battle. Let us hope this has not been some cruel joke. You can count on me. Victory or death. I'll take victory. Let the Emperor have death. I need to face the Emperor. Get this ray shield down, now. The circle closes. The end begins. You sacrifice your friends to this confrontation, hoping for advantage. You have gained little. My life spans millennia. Legions have risen to test me. You've been a blight on this galaxy long enough. 
time for you to burn. You harness immense power, but you lack the purity of will to direct it. I will not be contained. I cannot be redeemed. Death is all that remains, and you will not kill me. You've underestimated me for the last time. Finished, Lord Scourge. I killed the Emperor. I can sense him fading, but he is not gone. And I must die. Everything dies with me. The temple is coming apart. We have to leave. Get back to your ship. Master Satil, the Emperor is dead. Do you read me? The Emperor is dead. We read you loud and clear. Imperial warships are dropping out of hyperspace all around us. We must retreat from Drom and Kos. Rendezvous with the Republic flagship Valiant at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Master Satil, out. I see your crew survived without unnecessary heroics from you. This crew needs to stop pretending I owe it anything. My mission is saving the galaxy, not you. If Sarge hadn't pulled me out of the fire, the galaxy would be down one dock. And there's only one of me. What's done is done. Our orders are clear. We should set course for the flagship Valiant. You saved our galaxy from destruction. The Emperor's death has turned the tide of this war. Combined with our success on Corellia and the damage inflicted on Drom and Kaas, the Sith are in chaos. It's glorious. Today we avenged the sacking of Coruscant and the destruction of the Jedi Temple. Now we will tighten our grip until the last Sith is extinct and their empire crumbles into nothing. The Republic stands united in that cause. Even the neutral worlds rally to our side. It is my honor to present each of you with the Republic's highest award. The Cross of Glory. You will live forever as heroes of the Republic. Jedi Knight Kira Carson. Sergeant Fidelton Rusk. T-701. Dr. Archibon Kimball. Archibon? Seriously? Just call me Doc. Please. Even you, Lord Scourge. Though you joined us for selfish reasons, you saved more lives than your own. You didn't hear him telling the others to commit suicide down on Drome and Kaas. Keep your honors. I am not a citizen of your Republic, nor am I one of the Empire. Until I am certain the Emperor left us no surprises, I will stay. Beyond that, I promise nothing. And then there is you. How do we even begin to account for the turns your life has taken since you first arrived on Tython? The dark side has cast its shadow over you. 
I sense your anger and ambition growing. I can no longer ignore it. I wanted so much for you to become a Jedi Master. But you are not ready. I've done more for the Republic than the whole Jedi Council combined. Please, do not make this any harder than it is. You struck a great blow against the Sith, but the war goes on. There will be other opportunities for you to prove yourself worthy. Master Satil, this Jedi is one of the greatest war heroes I've ever met. She deserves recognition for her victories. By the authority of the Supreme Chancellor, I hereby grant you the honorary rank of Republic General. You could learn from the Admiral Satil. He knows how to show his appreciation. Let me be the first to salute you. We will speak of this another time. For now, let us mourn what we have lost, and celebrate all we have gained. For this one moment, the galaxy is safe. May the Force be with us.